I have my pack of tissues ready, even though I definitely won't need the whole pack. You will not eat the whole pack, Bist. I can, that much I can guarantee you. <laughs> Trust I'm pretty me, sure this pack sure. has more uh, tissues than I have TI, so... <clears throat> yeah, hello, hello. yeah, TI first. <clears throat> we'll do TI first. Hell I yeah. literally ran into that problem last year. I grabbed a tissue box with five tissues in it. <laughs> I'm so sorry that seven was the number for that time. <laughs> That won't be the number this year, don't worry. That's good to know. I don't even know that I have the lowest. I feel like TI did not inspire me to spend 20 hours this week, so I did what I thought was really good. Shaved a bunch of secondaries. Maybe it isn't I, even the lowest. Yeah. Same thing. Y'all want y'all want to do a secondary shave reveal? <laughs> <laughs> How much secondaries did you save? A couple hundred. Couple Actually, hundred. a couple thousand. <laughs> Actually, also a couple hundred. Yeah, sorry about the area secondary. I didn't really think it through, I do admit. Uh, I, <laughs> the, the idea was I wanted people not to make the brick solutions. Like, I don't know, you'll, you'll see our, uh, <clears throat> our uh, test solve yeah. was actually <laughs> not a brick solution. <laughs> but it did end up being the dominant uh, strategy anyway, which meant that, I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what that meant. <laughs> I started out with the results. Let's get I started it. out with twenty six thousand and ended with twenty one thousand. Oh my god, <laughs> that's like oh, five higher than what I have. Yeah, so I guess I should just introduce the puzzle. Um, it's called waste reclamation. Your reagent is this big chunk of waste, and your products are these two outputs. Um, the two metrics were trackless instructions, so minimizing the number of instructions in the tray uh, with a restriction that you cannot use any track. Um, and then the other uh, metric was height, which is how many rows of area the solution takes up. So we're going to start with TI. Um, let me get that loaded up here. Uh, what number will we be starting with? Um, Svenja, 121. Yeah, so our first solution is from Svenja. I believe this was intended as a TI solution. Um, with 121 like TI. <laughs> yeah. There, there's certainly and no tracks. This is important, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this solution has a lot of arms. Um, oh. It's 25 arms. 25, yeah. And... It's still in the puzzle properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually breaking down the input into all of its salts and then passing the salts by this Burlo wheel to duplicate them. And then outputting them, and disposing of the more. Like. And if they're the global optimum. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of instructions used, especially with these arms, like arms six, uh, five, six, seven, and eight, which. Oh yeah, arm five does the same thing twice. Yeah, uh, and it has to reset every time. So if it were a hex arm, I yeah. guess it it can't be because there's the salt here, but. Um, Generally in TI, you really like these three instructions. So arm one starts out very strong by just doing a grab, a swing, and a release. Um, but it could also do all of the pivots that arm two does uh -huh. to prevent needing to re-grab it, saving two instructions right there. Right, yeah. So yeah, sharing work between arms instead of uh, dropping and then grabbing, that saves like if you do the oh, same work with one arm, yeah, it, it saves that grab and drop. Is the game audio kind of loud for anyone? It's fine for me. Um, it's I fine. am watching okay. on Discord though. You have to ask Twitch chat. Yeah, I switched. No, to... I'm good. It's fine. Okay, yeah, I switched to the modded version, so it's like a little louder for me. Um, but oh yeah, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, the, let's. The, the assumption is that any solution that is trackless is submitting to be trackless instructions, and I have to assume that players who I know someone will make a trackless height solution. <laughs> yes, there are some there are some trackless height solutions. Uh, I actually had to skip one in, that was ended up at the bottom of the trackless instruction solves. But uh, next up, but yeah, players who don't have a ton of TI experience might see the challenge of making a trackless solution. Period. Yeah, is the barrier to entry here. Right, and this is a successful uh, trackless solution. So good job with that. Um, next up, we have a uh, solution from 17 Storm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Storm. This Seven one three. It has the first actual intended trackless solution. 
pistons. That's interesting. So yeah, it, it duplicates onto all of the items uh, in the reagent. And I guess something I consider. Yeah, this one has a lot fewer arms than the last one, but each arm is doing a lot more work. Um, so it does manage to save some instructions. It's I guess like a significant amount of instructions, but it's interesting to see it. Like I don't know how many people will do this, but duplicating in the original form before breaking any bonds. Uh huh. Yeah, and there's. I, I guess we'll see later. There's ways you can spin the burlo wheel so that you get the correct pattern on here just naturally with just one spin of the burlo wheel per uh, tape loop. And yeah, another thing that's nice with TI, uh, or good to target for TI solves, is doing only a bit of the work for, for every tape loop. Um, this one produces both products in one tape loop. Um, which is fine, but if you could do it in half the tape loop, you might be able to do it in half the instructions. So we'll see more of that as we go on. Um, next up, we have Zandorf at 43 TI. I'll be quick. Yeah. This looks like a TI song. Yeah, so this has much more of this like hex arm vibes to it, where it's taking this input, moving it along. There's some batching as well. Mm hmm. And Stopping reshaping it. Right. Left, left. It's making it into two sticks of three at a 60 degree bond. Mm hmm. Like a backwards seven. This looks like a TI sauce. There's yeah. so much repositioning to get it all to work, though. Mm hmm. Yeah. It definitely looks cool, though. And it also does this trick where it uh, duplicates both ends from the Burlo, but then it duplicates the inner one from one of the ends. Which is a trick that you can use. Mod, yeah? yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <Nice>. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. And yeah, thanks to Luna for making this mod. There's a tragic second mm. grab on arm seven because if it just mm. rotates and pivots without dropping in between, then the two pieces, one of which is the output. Would crash into each other, so it has to drop to get rid of the output. Oh, the yeah, that's sad. Yeah, if you oops, oh, yeah, zoom mod, never mind. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> zoom mod, James, here we go. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, it would collide here, uh, if these instructions were zoom mod was actually made as anti tampering measures. <laughs> that's <funny. laughs> success. All right, next up is Matter Monkey, 37 TI. Oh, Matter Monkey. Oh, I forgot to recommend to Panic the um, Mr. Pondle's, um Infinifactory mod mm -hmm. because it's useful for dealing with waste chains. Oh, so <laughs> we uh, there is a collision mod, which Mr. Puzzle has done some work on actually so thank you so much Mr. Puzzle for uh, making some modifications to that this week where you can disable collisions entirely so the waste chains will not be a problem uh, oh awesome that's like... <laughs> also I'm, I'm impressed that this one uh, is 160T by having the arm that grabs input only rotate five times in its loop Wow. Five. Mm -hmm. so it needs to go through six tape loops giving it plenty of time to finish actually decomposing the input. Interesting. That's a lot of instructions just to do that, though. Yeah. One might even say it's way too many instructions. <laughs> oh, yeah, the other thing I should point out is uh, the... If you notice down here on the right, uh, normally in free space that would say area. But Mr. Puzzle oh, has oh, nice. used used his magical powers to make it say instructions. His magical powers. Oh, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the QOL mod is a worse <laughs> acronym, but I don't want to use it. So I can't remember it. <laughs> I don't like, this setup is getting close to usable mod. <laughs> Demonstrate the lack of collision. Well, you'll you'll see. You'll see. Um, we actually have a tie at thirty-seven. Uh, well, not a tie, but a yeah. primary tie uh, with. Top of mouse, Stella 4. 
I did not expect a 37 TI pileup. Yeah, the secondary doesn't show up, but the secondary would actually be wrong because when collision is disabled, it also doesn't do area properly. Um, yeah, well, it shows up on the... Yeah, it should be showing up on the stream. Uh, yeah. Oh wow, ARM 5's several rotations are all programmed in with separate instructions. Oh uh, wow. Yeah, ARM 5 has like the majority of instructions here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use that, like 10, 15, 17. So yeah, almost half. 17 plus the X instruction, which doesn't count. Like right. That one is not an instruction yet. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have a drop of six to Petricat. The note is figured I might as well submit something for trackless. It's not good, but hey, Parker's solution. So this one I see how it works. seems to be our first waste, waste chain, chain solution. <laughs> um, it's debonding in groups of two, which is interesting, and then splitting them up onto two outputs. I think I said this in DMs with panic. Uh, why do waste chain? Uh, why do disposal with big stick do trick? <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's still a reason to use disposal. <clears throat> that's yeah, also just, true. Uh, Extra grab, uh, extra grabs that you want to debond and dispose of. Right, <clears throat> because sometimes you want to grab onto something and then not have you be grabbing onto it again, so you can go back and grab the next thing. How many if... of y'all paid a visit to House Colvin? I like how this one solves the problems of getting the uh, the elements colored because mm -hmm. it's going to put the same atom on that duplicator after six tape loops each time. So it's always going to be green or it's always going to be white -ish. Right. But then it pulls it. Oh, and when it pulls it, yeah, make the new it goes color. faster. And it takes advantage this of this Yeah, that's symmetry. a one instruction burl. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And yes, yeah, since... did... Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Also to answer the question in chat. Um, yeah, secondaries won't show up if collisions turned off because they need collision to calculate the area, so. Plus the <laughs> fact that it's just not like shown straight up. On just the, the number up in the top left. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> trust, trust Owen's him. Yeah. So now we have a ten ti drop to a rational guy. Ooh. Oh, that's more like it. That's twenty one is uh what I was expecting. So this one is cool. It um, uses two duplicators and then sort of reshapes <clears throat> this L shape into the straight line. It's got a three instruction Burlo so that it can get the right three atoms on every single input, but then it still throws away the rest of that input. Mm -hmm. It's a three hyper though. Yeah, and I guess this is like a, I guess, would you call it a 1T or 1 half T? It's P now, Penny. Oh, okay. Well, what, what, 1P or 1 half P? Which, which it's one a 1 half, I would say, because it's conditionally making each output, and it tests yeah. on the output if it's the right one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's half P, because it outputs... It's like half, yeah. Yeah, it outputs the two, the two products every four loops. It outputs half of the set. Right, right. Yeah, and it, it drops them as a set. So it yeah. makes half the set for every input grab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, so I guess a, a one half p solve probably has to do something like that with the Burlo, because unless it's like, like if you think about it, a one instruction Burlo, it would be difficult to make an entire product at once that way. Yeah. Usually, if you do, it has to be one six. Right. The solution's been running for a long time, and it's swinging its waist, and nothing is lagging. Right, yeah, that, that's the... That is this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> glorious. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. <clears throat> now we understand the true power of Mr. Puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up next at 18 TI, we have Tular. Oh, zoom up. 18 already? Holy shit, okay. So this looks like a 1-6. Our 37th place are already in 18. 
Oh no, this is one half T, but the Burlo just swings back and forth like that, and then it uses both sides of the Burlo. I had wondered about a solution using both sides of the Burlo, but not any geometry, geometry. that kind of made sense. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just instantly vomited at the thought of having to deal with that kind of geometry. <laughs> <laughs> so you put the one eye on the burlo and you progress with your approach and it's all okay because the burlo touches the glyph with every color. It's also interesting how cool it... Design. Yeah, it has to fix up... Uh, it like duplicates and then duplicates again. Like, what? what is the point of this upper duplicator? <laughs> Probably just has to time it share the fire. Oh wait, no. Why would you share the fire? You have no reason to share the fire. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Oh no, no, it, it gets the fire. Yeah, it gets the fire no, it across. Passes the fire. Yeah, it passes the fire across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire needs to shift oh, over one. Right. I thought it was just oh, uh, we have cost to spare. <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, I mean that's true. <laughs> Doesn't affect. I did. Way. I did pad my cost to 420 by drawing a shape. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. And then you had to adjust this shape so it doesn't <clears throat> increase area. <laughs> I, I'm, I nearly had a one area missed out. Oh yeah, I should read the note for this one too. Previous revisions included by arms, which made the machine pretty snappy, but then I found some layouts that would use fewer instructions. Uh, extended it to period 7, which allows me to get the timing right on arm 6 for 18 instructions. Whoa, the alchemist's folly. We tolerate so much for a single instruction shave. Uh, Surprised this is 37th place at 18 TI. Yeah. It's okay, we're going to have a 14 person pile up at like 5th place or something. <laughs> <clears throat> Probably. Alright, here we have number... Uh, I already know my solution is different from y'all's though. This is what I was sort of expecting. This is a very interesting play field with all these calcifiers, because cost is not a factor in the ranking, so you can spend as much cost as you want. <laughs> Gotta dodge all the calcifiers. <laughs> <clears throat> I did briefly wonder about this idea of like having like a silhouette arm, just do like a rotate and have like an outside arm pivot and mm -hmm. have a, the molecule disassemble. Oh, the pivot one arm is line. a piston. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Steven approved. <clears throat> Except the other uh, piston arm doesn't just pivot, so it's, it's half Steven approved. Uh, oh yeah, the note. I was messing around with one-arm disposal setups and realized that the machine lent itself to a natural method of switching between outputs. Getting it to work was definitely easier said than done, but I find it very satisfying. The Van Berlo wheel is read every two cycles, drawing a triangle on the wheel. Every six outputs, the relative position of the triangle shifts by one. Uh, the game crashed. If the machine didn't crash, uh, <laughs> uh, it would eventually create the products... Uh, rotated 180 degrees. Likewise, it makes rotated products if the Van Brilla wheel is initialized at a different orientation. The rumblings in Discord suggest to me that there is probably a better method, but I'm too tunnel visioned on this design to think of other options at this point. Based on 20, 22 scores, I feel this is good enough. This is also, yeah, I like the approach where after the entire three input thing processes, it's offset by one. And offsetting it by one because of grab timings means that it's going to make the other output after finish these three. Mm -hmm. That's just like a really again. neat modular property. <clears throat> Did everything come up uh, okay after the game crashed? <laughs> yeah, everything's okay. Cool. okay. That may... Discord stream is on though. Oh, the Discord stream stopped? Let me restart that. Yeah. Um... The that may happen again, so <laughs> yeah, because the is it because of the mods. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, the situ I don't know if this is the situation that happened here, but it is probably something got bonded uh, to the same molecule in the same position. Yeah, bad bonding. Um, oh, oh, was it supposed to crash? Yeah, it would have crashed. That does crash the game, and it is prevented by collisions. Right. Okay. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Why does yeah, the area? Is hilarious. Oh yeah, like, uh, maybe Mr. Puzzle can explain that. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> we could. Hey, someone actually maximized area. Yo, what <laughs> maximized area? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Uh, next up is Kazian with a one TI drop. 
I preemptively tip my hat to the top alchemists that find a more efficient intermediate than this salt V. With a flick of a double arm and a tick of Van Burlo's wheel, the salt V <laughs> becomes the needed essences in five instructions, with twelve more to prepare it. A piston does double duty of constructing the V and transporting it to the double arm. Alchemist Kazian, you still not a brick. <laughs> still amazing. <laughs> still amazing. Yeah, and this one does a similar yeah, thing of uh, repositioning to make the straight shape. I really like the the bi arm that rotate pivot drop. It mm -hmm. reminds me of the lambent TI solution that is like it gets oh. this brick that has both outputs, and it has to disassemble it and put them in two different places, and it does it the same way that this one kind of does. Mm -hmm. Duplication is also pretty neat. Oh, this people, complement, yeah. mm -hmm. people complementing the one eye Burlo wheel and other solves. Yeah. I think it's going to catch a lot of people off guard how much lower the actual instruction count is on this puzzle from any of the 2022 puzzles. Uh, yeah, the 22 puzzles kind of asked for more instructions <laughs> than this puzzle in particular. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's another uh, 17, 17 TI. tissues to go. <laughs> From Jason. 10 tissues max. 10 tissues max? Wait, why 10? I think Jason's assuming 7 is the min. Or at least the theoretical, I can't say it could be done in seven. Practical I can't say it man. couldn't be done in seven sort of number. Mm -hmm. Jason is on my tissue bet spreadsheet, which I had to make because I had too many <laughs> tissue bets to <laughs> juggle to remember them all. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can confirm you will be eating a few tissues today, Jason. <laughs> Oh, this one just runs out. It doesn't Ooh. try to dispose them. It just <laughs> it leaves the more <laughs> around. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It would. I mean, I guess you had technically to just dispose them, but but you wouldn't be able to maximize the cost if there was a disposal taking up so much True. of the value. <laughs> I assume this puzzle was designed in mind for this to happen. Designed Another for... Steven Piston. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, and this one is doing the intended strat for the Brillo wheel, um, where it rotates out of sync with the salts rotating past it, and oh, I see. This this yeah, that way it gets the ore, I guess, of the two neighboring atoms. Right, because it's mm. it. This salt doesn't actually uh, duplicate, so it only gets duplicated. Yeah, that's onto an unit. important insight for duplication. Yeah, that that idea was kind of actually what the sense. puzzle was dissolved uh, was uh, designed around. I did not do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a what I brew though, but you know. Mhm. Mm it's a lot more jank. <laughs> Next up at 16 TI, we have a drop. Is oh cat's god, we're at 16 already. <clears throat> Feels like my effort actually paid off, smiley face. Having fun with OM again heart. Oop, there's an extra debonder, but shh. Don't worry, the cost doesn't matter. Welcome to Opus Magnum, where the scores are made up and the cost doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the triarm that I, I just I have a thing where I like triarms that rotate in the or by arms that rotate uh, twice in a tape loop. Mm -hmm. They're like it's manipulating just, two different things. Same. It looks yeah. good. Also, my brain cannot distinguish bi arm and tri arm because a bi arm takes three periods to return, and a tri arm takes two periods to return. <laughs> so the numbers are all backwards. And yeah, this one's using two duplicators, but it doesn't have to rotate this at all to get the duplication part to work, and then it does the third duplication with this other duplicator here. 
Yeah, this solution looks very nice. I feel like if I found this TI, I would be pleased with myself. Also, shout out to Catspin for having fun with Opus Magnum again. Mm -hmm. That's Aww. awesome to hear. Now, we have another 16 TI. Keep them at the same TI. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this one does the disposal thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is pulling a single atom off at a time with arm two. Arm two is quite busy here. Uh, it's pulling off an atom and then moving it twice and doing the pivot. Yeah, this is a very tempting approach, just because peeling in this sort of six at a time thing looks really instruction efficient. Right. And generally in TI solves, it's like if you can have the lowest P, like the lowest number of, uh, or like ratio of tape loops to outputs is generally good. I'm pretty sure the lower duplicator is never used. Every atom that arrives there is already with color. Mm. Yeah. Well, not like it matters. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> In fact, we've just disturbed the intended 230 or 250, whatever. I can't read the streams blurry <laughs> there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, Hello Jasper. I'm preparing for week three where I have to cost optimize. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have a one instruction drop to Andrej K. One instructions again. And here we start oh, to see the power <laughs> of the brick. It begins. <laughs> the brick begins. Yeah, so the idea here is that you pull the input and bond to this chain in the same set of instructions. And then as things move along and get bonded and debonded from it, you can do things with them. So in this case, it's rotating it over to get duplicated on the burlo and then rotating it over to get debonded. So you can kind of like turn your instructions into just the layout of things on the board and have it progress through it by the natural motion of the brick. Arm 4 is nice here. I like how it outputs both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Steven, hot bricks in your area. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's cool how it makes a full six long stick and then breaks it up to output it like that. Mm -hmm. Which I guess, if you're doing things two at a time, that's kind of a natural way to do it. <clears throat> And this is definitely not the only solution to take this approach of uh, just taking off two, even though the products are made of three. Um, yeah. Just geometrically, it makes sense. <clears throat> and next up, we have a two TI drop. Seriously? Really? <laughs> oh my fuck. <laughs> Seriously? 30th with... 13 TI in 2023. Whoa. That's rough. 13 TI. It goes lower. <laughs> oh, let me zoom out here. Gonna be That's, some um, tissues today. <laughs> you will be eating some tissues today. <laughs> I am expecting around four. So this is another brick type I solve. I have to wonder if I'm eating tissues today now, but anyway. <laughs> How do you do better than this? Well, I guess I'll find 30th place with this. <clears throat> yeah, so this, there's four arms, each doing three instructions, which is pretty much the minimum. And then the burlo is uh, rotating once, which is hard to not have to do. So probably in order to do better than this, you're going to need fewer arms. Yeah, I'm expecting fewer arms, but like, 
The only arms that I could see that I could save are arms one and two, combining into one arm. Mm -hmm. I started this puzzle thinking that 13 was a target, and I came up with an idea for 13 overnight and didn't have the game open. I went to go implement it, and I realized it didn't work, and then I found better. But 13 I was know. my first assumption. It's like, here's a solution to hard the target. 13 should be a good target. It's not, apparently. <laughs> I actually, I, I actually uh, my, my, like, 10-minute let's just throw something on the board solve was 13 TI. <laughs> but yeah, one interesting thing about this solve that I don't think we've seen before is that it's throwing away um, pieces that don't match. Yeah. So this is going to be a very common pattern where the, you just let the burlo kind of do what it does and duplicate however it wants, and sometimes it'll make the right product, and sometimes it won't. Um, and actually, so I made a sort of cryptic comment in the Discord about how I actually liked the area secondary, and this was why, because I think it's cool that solutions which are more efficient with being able to output these, like not have to make all these wrong pieces, um, uh, are able to win so over... So about me. <laughs> no, no, it's... Well, you uh, as as we get the area time is twenty one thousand. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, just like not that the waste actually does any does any much more area. Right, it's not the fact that the waste the is making waste more waste. area. It's the fact that you have to it's have the fact more. That it takes a long time. Right, you have to put more waste on. Like since the uh, puzzle, like the solution finishes when you've outputted everything, the more waste you have to make, or like the more things that don't match, the longer the chain is going to be. So you get way more area. Have we seen a debond? Oh yeah, debonder, uh, this, this one yeah. does have that debonder. That's what the arrow was for. Other way, other way, other way. Wait. This way? Straight up from the solution. Oh, straight up, okay. Because it debonds in that position. <laughs> I see. Multiple arrows. <laughs> That's where the solution is. Okay, starts. here we go. Yeah, so here's the. It doesn't crash into that, though. Yeah, because collision. collision is disabled. And also, the, the debonder <laughs> is disabled because there's something sitting on top of it. So it doesn't see the. Oh, it does other that. Atoms. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Otherwise, yeah, it would just keep putting another and another and another. <laughs> yeah. And there'd be like some crazy shadows underneath everything. But no, it, it just stops debonding after the first one and ignores the chain. Like, holy shit, 13... Oh, God. <clears throat> Calieris is mentioning debunk. Y'all are scary. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting to look at the note. Uh, inspired by a welcome to House Colvin TICTIA, Big Stick Go Burr, optimally rotated for area saves. Big Stick cut off uh, <laughs> last day for area saves. Sorry, Fanic. Yeah, oh, it's shoot, fine. I didn't try to rotate myself. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so we have a big area drop here. Moraconda. Uh-huh. So this is also 13, but with a slightly different distribution. It has three arms, um, but one of the arms has six instructions on it. Wow, 13 TI with a finite... No, it's not a finite area. It still is making some waste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's like sub-1,000 area at 13 TI is 29. Right, so this one's pulling three off of each input, um, which I think the last one was pulling three off of each two inputs. And it's also successfully making a product from every group of three, so the length of the waste chain is much lower. Mm. Much, much lower. Mm -hmm. Time to find out how many tissues I'm eating. <laughs> and the, I, I think this it's really cool how it fixes the shape too with the same arm that's pulling the input here. Mm -hmm. 20k drop in oh. secondary. Yeah, that's uh, welcome to <laughs> Brick TI. <laughs> <laughs> so here's another 13 TI from This one actually does appear to be finite. With a cool. Oh, I like the double pivot. Awesome. Double pivot. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's efficient. Because, yeah, for that this. Saves the three instructions over Zen 4 is by just that pivot. 
Mm-hmm. And we're still at 28. There's going to be a monster pile. Off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for this, yeah, like... I just hope I'm in it, or at least... Hopefully that, <laughs> I, hopefully that means I won't be eating a lot of tissues. <laughs> My, yeah, main, my main fear here is being behind a pile of Mm-hmm. I'm confident I'm ahead of the pile up. So here we have a... What is this? Seven area drop? Wow, seven. <laughs> uh, Goodbye Galaxy, based reclamation. I don't actually know what based means. No one does. Yeah. <laughs> So this has oh, a, the exactly the same double pivot arm, very similar to the last solve. Oh yeah, it just took the uh, atom drop in a different place. Mm -hmm. And it dupes first. Yeah, which I guess allows it to do the final manipulations in a smaller amount of area. Based is like when you're not cringe at all. <laughs> Sounds about right. Based on what? <laughs> the world may never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's now a six area drop. Forty-two Good genius forty-two, God. with again basically the same solve here. You are a unique thirteen ti wasteless snowflake. Mm. Is it actually <laughs> not unique? <laughs> well, it's it's very similar design. Sorted the area, yeah. but I'm almost convinced a TI 10 or 11 is possible with one less arm. Tried many layouts, could not find it. Yeah, sounds like one less arm is... Uh... That's a pretty good showing from Genius 42. I wouldn't have thought TI would be something he'd be all that comfortable with, but I think it's cl I think Biggie's rubbed off on him. <laughs> the 42 powers are strong. The 42 really? powers. All right, so now we take a primary drop to 12. One tissue for me, I'll start eating that. <laughs> so what, what is the yeah, tissue? What, what, what's the, uh, like, how many tissues do you have to eat? How did, right, right, for right, every right. primary drop. Is it primary drop until right. you get to Zorflax or, like, mm -hmm. until you get to Min? Zorflax. It's to, so, is so yeah, my bet. L let me read out my spreadsheet for okay. everyone <laughs> following. So, if, so I so Biggie and I have a one-way tissue bet. If he beats me, I have to eat a tissue per instruction. If I beat him, nothing happens. Okay. Bist and I have a two-way bet with Bist and Jason. Um, okay. So for each tissue I beat them by, each TI I beat them by, they eat one tissue. And the opposite is true. If they beat me, they have not. Um, and I have a bet with Steven. Um, we're comparing the height of my TI solve with the height of his height solve. Mm-hmm. And he eats a tissue for every height, his height solve loses to my TI solve by. I don't think he's actually going to do that. <laughs> Maybe he not. He has like three height and he's just trolling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck with everyone on those bets. Um... God, these are harder to swallow than my pills. <laughs> So yeah, here's another brick solve. It's, Maybe I uh, should have tried a tissue before making this bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one takes I off. Consider using the atom that you break off from the waste chain to make the product. I always wanted to make the product out of the waste chain. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, this looks familiar. This is a welcome for house call event. Well, no, this is this looks like something I literally made earlier this week. <laughs> so yeah, this is a three arm solve. I assume they because of the arrows. Uh, yeah. I, it's not... I think there's... Since this one doesn't stick anything to the stick, the debonding is not very interesting, I'm sure. There are more interesting debonds you can do if there's stuff stuck to the stick, where you unstick the sticks from the stick to make the stick take up less area. <laughs> <laughs> How much stick could a stick stick? <laughs> How much stick could a stick can stick before? <laughs> but yeah, this one has three arms, but two of the arms um, do a pivot as well as a swing, which comes out to 12 TI. So let's see where we can go at 12. 
Next mm -hmm. one. Hello, Jasper. That's not even a one rotate burlow. Yeah, this is a three rotate burlow. This was Imagine like the solve that I made after realizing I couldn't make the uh, two burlow, and that's too mortitious for me. I'm eating three today. <laughs> I, I literally made this solve. Sent it to panic. So There's like 1100 <laughs> area for mine because I didn't do the uh, thing at the end. Mm hmm. And yeah, this one is able to save area because from the last one because it's using three uh, atoms per input instead of just one. And yeah, this one with <clears throat> some different Burlo and duplication management, probably some people watching can see where this might be going. <laughs> but uh, for now, we have another primary drop at number 23. Smiley face. <laughs> 11. called slap method. Oh, this one takes two. <laughs> We're not uh, reclaiming oh. much waste here. I see. Oh, that's, I see. That's a cool uh, motif. Oh, I like it. This is so brick technology. This is very radio receivers inspired. <laughs> yeah, I'm makes... a huge fan of this idea. <laughs> yeah, because it's trying to turn these two pieces into three pieces, and it's using the stick to do it uh, while using no extra instructions. but it does take a lot of area because it's only using two per input and it's also making a little bit of waste uh, on top of that, which lowers the overall efficiency. <clears throat> uh, so there's the two I save I was talking about with my first two arms. Oh yeah. Yeah, the issue with that though is that you can only bond the uh, waste stick such that the Moors is a like horizontal translation away from other ones. Which is actually a problem. Hmm. Yeah. I figured that would be a problem, so I never tried it. But I guess this works. Just make two into three. Mm -hmm. So now we have a 1400 area drop to not great. The biggie break. Oh, is it? <laughs> As a, oh, dear. OK, good. The Cortelli finder. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, What's thanks, Mr. Puzzle, for that. Finding? It's uh, Control, uh, right click. Uh, and yeah, that's a, another magical Mr. Puzzle uh, feature. I don't know how I'm going to be finishing all these stations. It, yeah, it's it, you'll you'll be here for a while, best. Hopefully, you, I think you'll be able to finish before the end of the stream from experience. But <laughs> yeah, they are very. You know how many I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. I like the use of the pivot to also make a stick. It's one of the challenges in this was making it into a stick instead of anything rounded. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this like pivot plus a swing from an arm in this position is a very nice way to make a stick. Now we have a... How many areas is this? 14 area drop? 14 area. <laughs> Is it the same solution, but like with a, with a... Yeah, pretty much. Oh, it just put the rest of it inside of the shadow of the triangle. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is how you save 14 area. <laughs> not much more out of 8,000. Pentapig says, this is exactly my first solve. So many repeats. Where was the pileup happening? Also, this is 21st place. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, now we have a big area drop of 7,117. Whoa! <laughs> Barely eaten a tissue. <laughs> Three arms. Exactly 1,000 area. Uh, if an arm can participate in both sticking and outputting, the inst could potentially be lower, but I couldn't find how it could possibly work for now.
So yeah, this is a very interesting thing that Arm 1 is doing here. It's pretty much doing everything. <laughs> 2 is just grabbing and outputting. Zorflax. Do you have any tissue eating tips? <laughs> very small bites. <laughs> yeah, I figured that. <laughs> I've been rolling them up and then sawing them like toes, but uh, hissing a lot later. I would like imagine this... you can take off some area here by not having it be a length three by arm that delivers the outputs. What prevents it from being a length one by arm? I don't know. Like this? The disposal, maybe? Oh, it has oh to go. right. Is the very first one actually a single atom? Yeah, the first is a single atom. Ah, uh, yeah, so it has to bring it to the disposal. Rip. And next, we have a 844? No, wait, 64 area drop. <laughs> finite. Sounds like finite area. To yeah, me. so <clears throat> this was our playtest solve. Oh, I see. So this is doing a very similar thing, except it's uh, peeling instead of pulling it off the brick. And using oh, the fact nice. that this three-length arm can conditionally pull the product out um, when it's finished on the right here. Gotcha. Yeah, this putting only five inputs in circulation instead of six was cool tech from some of the campaign puzzles, too. Right, yeah. It's a double arm rotate pivot thing. Right, and I also love how it counts to three using its own link. Mm -hmm. So it only outputs five at a time, and then it has to do the whole thing again to output the six. Right. Which is like what you get <clears throat> from this pattern where you're swinging uh, with two hex arms. I wonder if there's going to be any tertiaries. That matter. Um, so there's actually a tie with the solve. Jay Ooh. Gark found made the exact same solve. The same solve. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you made nice. the intended solution. <laughs> <clears throat> Congratulations. <laughs> Although I think the Burla might be on the other side. Yeah, yeah but like it's a seven area regardless. <clears throat> I don't think it matters where it is. Right. Unless you manage to cover some of it. <clears throat> Yeah, I think over the course of the week, my confidence in my solution has fallen a little bit, and the stream is continuing to make it lower. So I, I've, uh -huh. I've, I'm glad I did not make a mirror bet to Zorflax because I, I'm in no shape to eat tissues. <laughs> Actually, my confidence has been fine all week, but the stream is mine has lowered for the first time watching all these solves on stream. Yeah, there are definitely Why are so good at the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now we have our primary drop again. Sorry, Bist. Oh. <laughs> Two. Like I said, I'm expecting uh, four tissues. <laughs> I am rolling up my tissues into balls right now. <laughs> so yeah, this one is a brick solve, and it's has three arms with three instructions on each arm, and bonds the rejected products onto the waste chain. Yep. Oh, that's cool. That's the 10 strat. Yeah. That's the 10 strat I know. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. People are calling the pile up at 10i in chat. I thought it was going to be 11i, but apparently it's 10i. Yeah, I mean, I think 10i is like a good place to stop because it's three arms, each with three instructions. The Brillo oh, spinning so is hard to, to get, or, get out of. Yeah. I was so close to this. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, this one is spending six whole instructions just pulling the input. And then three more to deliver the output. six instructions, as far as I can tell, to make a waste chain that includes three salt in a row. Mm -hmm. You just can't get that in four instructions.
And yeah, Rebic's uh, refusing to do that crashing thing. I don't think it matter. Um, it might it's have. It's a similar area to me. It probably would have the same area if it did do the crashing thing. Uh-huh. Okay, next up is Nova. Bigger number, better person. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wait, the, the Critelli. No. <laughs> Where... It bait the lost hole of one area. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> where are we going? Oh help, no! Help! Ten. Yeah. We're lost. <laughs> Ten. At least there are. Follow the line. Okay. Follow okay. The okay line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Okay. So this is pretty much the same thing, except with the debond at the end of so save area. It also probably loses so it good area to the fact that it's a, a length three six arm delivering outputs instead of length one like Reb is able to find. Oh yeah. Uh, note I is. Here's the solve that just combines the two. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> note is couldn't find a way to build a good infinite thingy using only one arm. I suspect some people will. Two arms, eight instructions total might be possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a. Am I reading this right? Two area draw. Does okay, this beat my area? <laughs> two area, two area draw. <laughs> Doing two it better. Area. So I don't. Someone else can tell me where this saves two area. Two. I guess it's because of this delivery mechanism. The hex arm instead it's of. It's a the... delivery mechanism, <laughs> and it cuts off the end. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, it's so a delivery so, mechanism. The so, pile up at ten. Oh, probably also burlow. Oh yeah, the burlow under. That's true. That's true. Also, what actually, Kelly Oasis brings up a good point. It could be the. Was it not the like the orientation? Like if you rotated the whole thing. Oh yeah, it could, it could also be the. So yeah, so, sorry for the secondary. <laughs> There's so much <laughs> stupid stuff that contributes to it, and it is going to affect people's score. Three, so. You only need to try all six. Right. Wait. I noticed that like. The, if it's completely symmetric, the area is the same. Yeah, it might not always be the same, but it's definitely more pronounced. I know, mine, mine wasn't. I I say I literally saved five hexes rotating my solution. Right, right, but yeah, just I like have, yeah, so if you have that. a big last swing, that happens. Yeah. I'm still ripping up my tissues into balls. I might just have to eat this what one, one tissue. <clears throat> so here's oh, a. It's okay, but I'm not gonna hold you to all the <laughs> tissues. Oh um, yeah, OM sim. is my score. The OM sim <laughs> area code. I had to like decompile the code from the game and copy it directly, so it should be exactly the same. Uh, I assume it's a new collision as well. Oh yeah, so the this is the new collision patched into the game too. Although it doesn't matter because it's disabled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I meant like. In OM7, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Based off the new code, it's, yeah. it's based off the new code, yeah. Um, so I believe this is a thirty area drop, yeah. This is a different orientation. Yeah, so it's still got the burlo under there. It's a different orientation. Oh, it's gonna debond it, it back on. Yeah, 30 area tells me it's not just the rotation, but it does something else. Also, it's a three length arm, so there's, there's, other, there's trickery here. The pile up oh, is MPI 20,000 area. <laughs> is it because this <laughs> one did the burlow thing, but didn't do the cutting of the last swing? I don't know. These all look very similar. Also, the fact that it's rotated this way. Yeah. Literal tournament points are being decided. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, no problem. What? Twenty thousand area pile up. Okay, so now we have an actual legit drop. Uh, to Ebenov. Yeah. Oops. I didn't get to shaving area off this from duplicating on the other wide chain. I thought it, it'd be simple it's to different. achieve two to three p. Um. That's a different way. That's a different. Chain. Yeah. Uh, my TI skill says that 10 TI is not straightforward, 12 is, and 14 TI is trivial, and I'd have to, a sad week if like 20 people found 10 TI, uh, which is still plenty possible, I guess. 
Yeah, I think it's... How many people got 20 out of all those 20? Yeah, it's pretty much... That's pretty much what it was. Is that... Question, this is really nitpicky of me, is that is that disposal actually necessary, or is it just there for looks? Because I think it costs him one yeah. hex of area. The first atom that comes out of this is a one atom. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, alright, so it is necessary. Not able okay. to But yeah, and all these solutions have been, they take three from every two inputs, and then only output every one third of those. So it's basically like yeah. one every two inputs, which is why the waste chains are so long. So as for efficiency, in that sense, uh, all the 10 TI solutions have been the same. But this it's one- It's not an Opus Magnum tournament without some horrible mistake in week two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but wire forming and unforming. Man himself. I'll have you know that I don't, I do not regret area instructions. <laughs> yeah, and I, I guess this one saves so much area just because of the different bonding pattern here. It's not, this isn't bonded like here. It's bonded here, so this waste chain is just shorter. Would you regard putting um, twenty one one sixtieth full throughput? in week two as a mistake because that was my sin oh oh no that was a good puzzle that was definitely i think there were people who right. really were bothered by the fact that optimal involved programming like a 480 instruction tape mm. actually i'd say that's the exception to the rule i'll i'll defend that one biggie yeah that one's better okay, than you. the other week two's weeks uh what's last was uh, Brookie's week two that bad? It wasn't. Didn't wasn't Mister Dowsing cost week two? That's that's week three. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. No, I don't think there was a mistake in week two then, in Brookie's. All right, that's not a hard rule. So up next we have Mister Puzzle with some amount of drop that's like a thousand or <laughs> around there. I think it's the same technique. Uh, It seems yeah, to break off the monomer much earlier, saving probably two strings. Hmm. The note says... Uh, that's why it starts with the 17. Oh, yeah. The note says, Sir, this is not a McDonald's. <laughs> Ten-piece brick and chuggies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fun Chicken math fact. Brownies. The different bonding pattern takes up a larger angle, but it shortens the radius by at V because the circle area is linear with angle but quadratic with radius. Making a meaningfully shorter waist chain. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have a big drop. 6331 area. No I thought you meant like big drop as in uh, instructions drop. We're still we're still we working on the, the area here. Making it out of a single uh, input instead of two. Right. Yeah, just the the X arm and the pivot. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. But it's still doing the same thing where it rejects, but it's twice as efficient because it's pulling three from every input instead of three from every two inputs. I am in this part of the pile. <laughs> oh uh, boy. And maybe it, this pile will last till first place. The note is: I'm assuming min is eight, and this is bad. That's not that bad. That's it's number horrible. twelve. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and the waste chain here is uh, quite pretty. Lots of colors. Yeah, the choice oh, to nice. make a lot of extra duplicates. That's a very thin waste chain. Yeah. That's because it can it's be pulling. One pinner, which is one of the area saves I made. Mm. So next I have up. So many little balls of tissues on my table. I'm not really gonna eat all of these. At number 11, it is Biggie Mac. Not even top 10 with 10? Nah. Wow. Zorf Flax, what the hell do you have? I I didn't lose a tissue bed, everyone. <laughs> Congrats, Zorf Flax. You have, you have nailed the tissues this week. Yes, no <laughs> tissues. Yeah, mine mine is thinner waist chain because I managed to debond one atom and put it into the disposal. Mm. Which is oh, just like yeah. a small little win there. Nice. I'm curious if Zorflex would have had to eat tissues. Wait, no, not like Zorflex. Biggie would have had to eat tissues. 
I would imagine that nine and eight are both something that is considerable. Seven would really shock me. I looked for nine on the last day and just didn't feel like there was any route that I could creatively come up with. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, and I ten made sense to me. And anything to know. Lower, Amazing. Okay, next Just up, arm. Hell yeah. <clears throat> number 10, we have Fiesta. Fiesta. Crashing saves 150 area. I hate it. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's. <laughs> I died. Well, Fiesta <laughs> manages to break it off half a swing earlier. Mm. I didn't even think that would be possible. I assume Fiesta did away with the moral dilemma thing once he uh, realized everyone else was going to be doing it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess. And it did uh, improve his ranking, so... Yeah, he passed me oh. Yeah, it mattered. <clears throat> and yeah, now we have a... What is this? 31 area drop? 31? <laughs> <laughs> This is slightly different. No shot. Oh yeah, I can. I tried to consider this. It's not oh. pivoting about the um, Mores, It's pivoting about a different atom. Mm -hmm. I didn't it's get this work. It's good to see how brilliant this community is. That we all kind of converge on the same ideas. Mm -hmm. At least the people who have been around for longer. And I'm sorry to the new players. You can see all the people doing this and be like, was I supposed to think of this? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess it just shows how the ideas f for making TI puzzles are able to spread and like people are able to learn from other solves and sort of converge on the same cool stuff. Yeah, my whole goal was getting three atoms of salt in a row in the waste chain. That seems to require six instructions. Mm -hmm. and so that's where my creativity ran out. A lot of people seem to be in the same place. I have finished up balling my tissue, balling up my tissues, and I'm looking at them in despair. <laughs> I... You know, I uh, I never actually considered a two arm waist chain. How many instructions? Oh, this is an. Oh no, it's no waist. Drop. Pizzazz in chat saying that they have a totally different song. It's the same song. Yeah, <laughs> they were just, it's rotated. <laughs> they were just being cheeky. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, oh, I actually like the Cretelli here. Very good. It's the only difference is that it's rotated. I don't know. Maybe it's the way yeah, that I don't the... see a way for this to be less, like 400 less area than my solution. Or then, like, Fiestas, which also broke off at this point in the chain, where mine was half a swing later. This is magical in a way I don't get. It probably is another difference of about one swing, but I just don't see where. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's hard to know <laughs> from this, especially since the area calculation is off, so I can't even look at the footprint. Uh, Fiesta says Pizzazz breaks off the product one pull before mine did, so maybe that's it. Interesting. I must have just misjudged the distance. All right, it's so also worth noting that all of these are probably running at a worse uh, throughput than they could, because if you are swinging it as fast as you can, it takes a few more swings before the product actually drops. Hmm. So, yeah, the extra period a, override here. You can reduce the last swing. I see. I wonder how many of these are correlated, the, the area series are correlated to initial burlow position as well. <clears throat> Tulare says, is this method? I, I think I think you could probably say that this is method. This is, I, this I would is like method. to go so far <laughs> as to suggest that if the same puzzle was given to the same set of people one year ago, this would have been like a mind-blowing kind of solution style. Yeah, probably, that's yeah. probably true, yeah. <laughs> Except this baby popularized the stick, so big sticky. 
You've popularized the brick. The you've popularized Biggie bricking too much, Biggie. <laughs> I am interested. You, in you, wrote, it, you wrote an entire blog post about it. <laughs> I am not going to hide the methods, even if it means I'm ill. <laughs> That's fair. That method isn't that bad. <laughs> All right, so the next one, uh, number seven, is Bambi with a pretty big drop. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's managing to get uh, two outputs. Oh, wow, the immense propagation. It's, only making the pro it's almost only making the proper outputs. Oh. Right. So instead of, oh, yeah, only one third, it's eight. able to do uh, two thirds. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. I like it a lot. Yeah. I did not expect you could do anything like this for propagating at all. <clears throat> That's cool. This kind of reminds me of like overlap area type of tech where you're like duplicating stuff all over the place, uh, yeah. but just spread out it's over like space. It's propagating so that you can do two per output, uh, two per six. Right. So actually four per six. Right. It's like spending, it takes longer to get set up and requires a bunch of duplication, but once you get there, it's, well, it saves more by high, having has, a higher throughput or higher yield. Yeah, I would say. This is making me wonder if you can get all six out of six. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's not as that, efficient. Well, we haven't seen it yet, so if it exists, I assume it'll be more efficient. Let's see what we have here from John John. Big stick and big six hundred area. So this yeah. is John looking doing the thing that, pretty similar. Uh, Mushar did, and the thing that Bambi did. Mm -hmm. It's also yeah, they're also doing the thing that uh, yeah, Bambi did, but more efficiently. Yeah, the amount of space it takes is less somehow. It only takes two swings. Mm -hmm. Somehow he improved it. <laughs> that's that's just. That's just this whole stream so far in general. <laughs> it seems like through. this output arm is at least two segments and maybe three or four closer mm -hmm. to the actual input. Because people were mentioning on Bambi's that the arm was so far away from the machinery because that's how long it took to propagate. Yeah, it's definitely getting there faster somehow. <laughs> somehow. RPO doubting 9i in chat. <laughs> <laughs> so here's another pretty big drop around 800 area. Gee. And this one is two Whoa. arms. And, That's this. And no... Oh no, they're, they would just wait for it. So you can see nine instructions here. It's uh, just slow. But you'll <laughs> you'll see what it's doing. This, this what was, about nine instructions? This was actually oh, the right. solve. There's oh, nine visible instructions right now. Um, this was the solve that actually Burlo starts spinning later. I expected this that actually your... pr prompted my cryptic comment about how I liked the area uh, secondary actually because this solve I thought was so clever and it... oh. I don't think any other like metric would have worked for this puzzle. The secondary metric would have worked for this puzzle in particular. Though. Who was it who had the piston Maybe that did cycles? this exact same thing? Their cycle, their solution was titled power piston. Hmm. Let me see. Seems, it seems like if it was cycles, we'd get or cost, we would get a lot more ties. Uh, Winter Ray Piston Power Plus. Yeah, Winter's solution had this exact same piston. Mm -hmm. It also has the single like disposed atom over there. But yeah, so in case you didn't notice it, what's happening here is that the Burlo didn't spin for a while so that it would produce the first type of output. And then at some point it starts spinning. Uh, in the future here. So it produces yeah, so it starts producing the second Yeah, type. it's it starts spinning at just the right time that it starts producing the second output instead. And since the That's a common thing when you require two similar outputs. Right. So it's it essentially So it's essentially a cheeky way to get all six, which is what I one yes. that was possible, but yeah, this is how you do it. Full mm -hmm. efficiency, one input does produce one output. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and then one gets <coughs> thrown so in the trash as well. Matter. So it's like the stick is even thinner. It's like only got two and then three the, each. Yeah, three each. And it is debonding this time out of necessity because you, you can't really do anything. 
to not hold on to that atom unless you dispose it. But right, right. It makes the stick thinner by getting rid of one atom that would be on it, too. But <laughs> believe it or not, 10 eye does go even lower. Okay. Is it finite? Hey, I mean Does it look finite? All right, I, I'm taking the podium finish here. I'm very happy. <laughs> Congrats. Nice. <laughs> uh, for Will your... this be a first Zorplax win? <laughs> I, I think I'm scared about Penapig, and I don't know who the other person is. Oh, Penapig hasn't appeared yet. Oh, wow, it's reattaching the atom that it would be disposing to a two-piece that it broke off. Yeah, this That's solution is, it is ridiculous. So the note is, for your viewing Whoa. displeasure, there's a non-bonder at the end of the waste chain that saves area and makes the solution immediately crash after 12 outputs. Uh, non-bonder? <laughs> <laughs> The problem with the 4 I uh, stick builder was that you could only ever access sticks of two salt, not sticks of three salt. But you can connect the stick of three salt to this single salt. <laughs> I love this. Madmaster, you've made me happy. <laughs> this is super nice. This is super nice geometry as well. Optimized for making like Vicky happy. Yeah, this is the type of solve you just love to see from TI. Like. You can't really, like, you TI just look at amazing. it and you just have to, like, take it all in because you can't really understand what you're looking at. I love at how first. TI is a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this one, I guess. Spect, Spect Pentazor Flax are top three, I think. Hmm. Spect has a big Spect, no. Spect is 12th place. Oh, wait, I, I totally missed Spect. I forgot that that was the person who was in. Oh, it's Calyuresis, isn't it? That's a that's a name that I, okay. That's a oh, name that Calyuresis. That, that makes sense. that adds up. <clears throat> Calyuresis is a monster at TI, so that <laughs> that that adds up. Okay, so next up, we are done with the ten TIs. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and yeah, Zorflex. All right. <clears throat> Do you want me to read your note or? Uh... Is it finite? Ah, uh, you can go ahead and read it. Okay, so uh, arm one's unique timing first offsets the Burla wheel before regrabbing, and then lets arm three delay its own regrab by a loop. This constructs the output stack while offsetting the Burla wheel a second time, allowing for proper duplication. The by arms also build two sticks at once, accessing both halves of the Burla wheel. Also worth noting is the cool simul pivot. Tissue bet, if Biggie has bested me yet again, he will have earned it. For all three arms, the timing is delicate and the geometry is tight. Without any outside knowledge, this feels hard to beat. This is hard to beat. I nine was out of my reach, and you found it. So congratulations, Lord. no tissues on your end on this time. Yeah, at this oh, point man. it gets it gets hard to find anything like this because it has to be a one arm waist chain, and you have to do crazy stuff. The geometry on this one was super hard to get, right? Did the, you get do any area wheel... savings or that? Sorry. Did you do any area saving? Um, yeah, it chops off the last. It, it, it chops off the last um, waste uh, ball, and um, I did rotate it. That saved five area. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the way the duplication works here is just, just wild. Sorry. But yeah, go on. Oh uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, Cali Race is calling out in chat that they had something completely different, which I'm looking forward to. Because being beaten on the primary would be awesome, but um, yeah, the geometry was super tight. That getting that box, I spent like a solid two hours just on the Burlo wheel trying to <laughs> oh, make it fit yeah, that and seems... do it properly. And yeah, I, it it barely worked the timing and the geometry. So when I found this, I I thought I had a ten. Like when I and then I solved it and then I realized I only had nine instructions. <laughs> Wait, oh, cool. <laughs> Oh, Burlo has to rotate at the same time. Burlo has to rotate yeah. or it will crash, yes. Mm -hmm. Has to, yeah. Which made and the timing really the difficult. Land on at the right time, too, for the right duplication. Yeah, and you the way that... You can't get away with to, like, put it on there and then let it rotate into the thing that it should be duplicating. Yeah, and the way that it's able to build and output with the same thing... It's very clean. This kind of I'm happy. Yeah, this yeah it, I think you're the best at Zorflax. Well, you say that we still have two names to read out. I mean, yeah, but like, 
This reminds me of your Surrender Flare song. Uh, thank you. I'm glad that my, yeah, unorthodox TI method actually worked for once. Because I had um I had a cuprite moment with this puzzle where I like immediately found an eleven. I'm like, okay, what's the catch? Mm -hmm. Getting under eleven. I, I thought it was eleven because I never actually found a ten. <laughs> what's the catch? They made a <laughs> never seen right, a ten. So I, you never not will. Not an eleven solution, right, Penny? Hmm. Oh yeah, the test solve was 11. eleven. Yeah, that was the smallest yeah. uh, finite area, I think. I, mean, the, my, the, I dreamed up a 13, I implemented something that was a 12, and then I cut it to 10. So 11 was the number I skipped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was like 11 <clears throat> or 10 was like that point in Cuprite where you're like, okay, where's the magic? And that's what I basically looked for for like two or three days, and then I found this. I'm like, okay, I'm happy with this. Yeah. And then started bragging about that, and then started bragging about the tissues thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> Also, to the tissue betters, um, Bisp, you don't have to eat four tissues, and Jason, you don't have to eat eight tissues. <laughs> that seems a bit much. I've uh, eaten a quarter. <laughs> oh, last thing. Um, Stephen asked me to That's do this. This has, a, this, this has a height of 120. Hmm. Important. <laughs> Note to, that down. For the, for the, for the height bet. <laughs> Note that down. Okay, well, next is up... Is that an equivalent bet? <laughs> is that a two-way bet or just on Steven's end? No, that's a one-way bet. All right. So, yeah, congrats on number three, so Zorflex. reasonable waste chain. Now we have number two, Calyresis, with another 90. 674 area. Oh, area. Wow. 674. It's using all... The efficiency. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I love this. The two people who found the Cuprite God Solution were Rebix and Calyaresis, right? I don't remember. Yeah. Yes. This kind of rings of the the God Solution for Cuprite. The two mm. bios just managed to get everything into the right place. But you use them for the waste chain, but... Oh, this is, this is cool. This is really cool. It also looks like much easier for <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't have to be rotating at the same time as the swing happens. But yeah, the way that it reshapes the input in the chain like that, while pivoting the chain and then, like, bonding the right shape is just magical. <laughs> TI is magic. Oh yeah, the note, yeah, uh... You have to both reposition the waist chain into the next bonding pad mm -hmm. and build a stick. And the fact that's, that that's big four brain. Arms. Like the fact that you get the stick and the waist chain at the same in the same in the same like movement mm -hmm. is that's the big brain. And oh, also really move it so that arm one doesn't grab it again. Pentapig calling this surprisingly low area in chat means Pentapig <laughs> has a, a primary drop. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let me let me read the oh, note for I this one. Uh, my original target was 8 or 9i. I was stuck at a 10i biggie brick wall for a while. The core to this solution is the length 1 arm making a 3 atom stick. I unfortunately needed two pivots to fix geometry issues. I couldn't find a better layout, but I would not be surprised if someone else has 8i. Still not a huge oh, fan of the area secondary, enough of a reveal. <laughs> but it's not as painful when the waist chain is only 11 monomers long. But yeah, congrats on number two. This is a very clean solution. And number one, Pentapig. With, indeed, an 8i. Oh, 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 oh no. And Pentapig the, returns as the king of instructions. <laughs> and the solution oh. name is a hint to the way that it's built here. Oh, wow, it's conditional. Oh no! The thing where you only get twos, it's once again not even a problem if you're clever enough. Really awful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh god. This is amazing. Yeah, so it. And it manages to hit the burlo in two places to get the two different colors it needs. Right. This is shockingly good. 
The fact that it works at duplication just perfectly fine is also really cool. Yeah, so the way this works is that it grabs pieces of two. If there's nothing already there, it breaks it into parts and disposes one half. But if there's something already there, it bonds and then makes the output. So it's throwing away like half of this two and then bonding this part of the two and moving it off so it doesn't get thrown away. Epic is still the king of instructions. What P is well, this? Well, I'd say he's. I, I'd say he's. 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 He, he's officially part of the TI Wizard Club now. This is the first this like has, truly this has act so much movie. concepts from instructions and not like trackless instructions though. Yeah, like the conditional stuff. Yeah, the conditional stuff. Yeah, actually, that that is a good point. Yeah. But yeah, no, this is one fourth P. That's right, I think. Oh, it's slower than one fourth P. Because it takes it takes four it inputs. Grabs, I mean, it's one, I it's one six. per input, but it also then needs uh, three tape loops to get to the next input. But mm. it also makes two outputs in the twelve things, so it'd be making either one twelfth or one sixth, depending on how you actually count outputs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think one twelfth is probably yeah, because it's one fourth and then times one third, so. I guess I would say that the one thing that I've heard Pentapig described as that I cannot disagree with is the Opus Magnum main. <laughs> There's not like one category where he would be expected to win and others where he would not. It's just like that's a well rounded, impressive player. So yes. Yeah. I do I do find it funny. I do find it funny that once again I managed to like get ahead of the pack with a cool nine only to get bested by an incredible eight at the very end. <laughs> This yeah. puzzle having the same min as Coop, right, is very cool, but also for a tournament puzzle to have an ATI solution really is frightening. <laughs> yeah, I, I was blown <laughs> oh, away boy. by all these the TI solves for this puzzle. Like, very nice work, yeah. everyone. It's a it's a pretty great puzzle. Thanks. The area min or the area secondary was uh, somewhat unfortunate, but I, I did like the way it distinguished between solves of different classes, but all the weird tweaks to resolve the differences between solutions within those classes, I don't know. Maybe there's some tweak that could be made to... Uh... Yeah, those were kind of jank and like just depends on game knowledge. Right. 8, 9, 10, 11, have and 12 were the same class, and I'm feeling like I'm second from the bottom within that class. And oof, but like, yeah, that's mm -hmm. just how it works. Right. All right. So that was TI. Next up, we have height. I'm not going to be much better, much better at height. This is going to be a bad week for me. <laughs> I would like I'm to gonna... believe that podium on height is spiritual shampoo me and someone, but I could be totally wrong. <clears throat> maybe Madmaster. Maybe this will be a week for Madmaster. <laughs> could be Penapig's week. Oh yeah, too. let me uh, turn off the. Oh yeah, the collision thing. You yeah. can we can turn it on again. Uh. Disable this. <laughs> Two white soul. <laughs> God damn it, beating on primary again. <laughs> oh yeah, the area. Uh... Yeah, my I I do not rate my height solve nearly as highly as <laughs> don't spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I know height is uh, difficult. We're starting at 364. All right. Oh, wait, no, this isn't even three height. Let's see here. Yeah. Uh, this is an area ish solve. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> area ish. So let's see if this works. Yeah. <clears throat> so if you count the rows here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven height uh, from Chrysotep, I tried to make it as compact as possible. So yeah, this is like an area solve that's, or like an area. Um, inspired, so. yeah, height solve. Height um, conscious. Yeah. <laughs> than... <laughs> right. And yeah, it's peeling off all of the atoms one by one and making a stick and then swiping them into the output. And Are yeah. There... Oh, the Cretelli spot. Oh, right. The Cretelli's not even in the Cretelli spot. No, <laughs> oh, yeah, Cretelli's spot. Cretelli spot. Here. Is there anybody's height solution that was submitted with height measured along an axis other than the bottom, the top? I'm not sure. 
I guess we'll see. I doubt it though, because it seems like it would be more difficult to edit that way, unless someone was intentionally um, having a giggle. Was Steven? Steven, Steven is uh, Steven is smiling. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that means Steven oh, is not eating tissues. <laughs> Alright, next up is Jammu, uh, height solve of right, four. I can, see why, I can see why Steven made the tissue bit now. Because <laughs> uh, there was no chance he was eating <laughs> tissues. Um, so this one is made more convenient because it's using one extra height uh, from the size of the input in the Burlo. So it's yeah. able to have a track that just goes across the entire solution. Um, issue with this puzzle, uh, Burlo uh, and an input are both three height. Mm -hmm. So is Jamu locked man? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I think Jamu's lockpick man. So I think this is his first submission ah. ever. So welcome to the tournament. Nice. Congrats. But I, yeah, that's the issue with this height puzzle in particular. And so that means those two kind of have to be at the ends of the solution. But input suppression might say otherwise. Right, and like which ends and how do you... Because you definitely can't yeah. pass anything through the burlo, but you can pass things through the input if uh You can also suppressed. like have a input port from both sides to double the throughput, perhaps. I have not done that. Yeah, maybe if you're... If, yeah. If you can know. manage the burloing. Mm-hmm. All right, so next up is Glass Lady, slow min plus one, but not the slowest. It's not the slowest, yeah. Uh, first ever height solve, so secondary wasn't really on my mind. Min plus one ain't bad, though. True. True. Min plus one does make it a lot more approachable than min. Yeah. yeah I think does. even among height solves, or some of the ones will just be like, yeah, there's one thing that's too big, so I have to make it. <laughs> but this one has three things that are big. Right. And this one does a very sort yeah. of nice uh, approach where it takes the input and rotates it all the way around to get all of the right elements, and then just. I mean, one of the things that is big technically is it necessary? Oh, the disposal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you only in, need six outputs. Right, and in, <laughs> in height, it's fine to make waste chains as long as they just go out the sides. Uh, it doesn't change. You can also make it go inside and just solve six. Right, yeah, you can just leave them around wherever you want. Uh... Alright, next up is 7T Storm. And now we're at height 3, which, spoiler, is minimum height. Here we go. Uh, so Spoilers. now, solutions will be distinguished only on their cycle count. Um, less tracks, less stress. Cost. Yeah, per potentially the tertiary cost. Less tracks, less stress, though not completely out of track, You get if you get the pun here. Um, so this one is doing kind of the same thing as uh, Glass Lady Solve and duplicating onto the whole ring at once and then debonding it just in a layout that works in three area, or I mean three height. Um, and it's bringing this central atom all the way over to the disposal here. So yeah, I guess with fewer arms it's easier to uh, route things around and not have to worry about so much collision. Yeah. If you went 6P, you could set the mores on that track above the output and then just not use the tiles each time. Mm -hmm. And then save some time. Cool. Back. Yeah. Although the aesthetic of looping solutions does draw in many. Yeah, definitely. All right, next up at 433 cycles, we have uh, Vorjin. This one is making a. Better? Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've seen this name before. So welcome, Borgin. Um, this one is oh. making one input at a time. Oh, and it's got the Burlo on the track. That's kind of cool um, to get out of the way. And it's earning a waste chain. Yeah, so it's. Ooh, oh, it, that's a clever waste chain. That... It unbonds three at once, and it does some like cool spinny thing to get both sides of it with that Burlo. I feel like you can do this much faster with yeah. the same method. Oh, yeah, that waste chain. By only like taking three and disposing <laughs> everything else. Ooh. That looks oh. like a very good idea. 
Yeah, because it, it actually gets the atoms very quickly. And one of the challenges of this huh. puzzle is getting at stuff off of this input. That's honestly pretty high throughput yeah. if you do it fast enough. So yeah, some very huh, good ideas in, in this solve. <laughs> <laughs> Beginning Burlo theoretically can't beat uh, Biggie Max Solve. Interesting. Theoretically. I'm just saying it based on Spiritual Shampoo saying that. Uh -oh. Spiritual Shampoo seems to be the person who has put more effort into the theory of the cycle count on this. I, I see, just I made see. things that were faster than the things I made before. Yeah. Be <laughs> beginning Burlo, yeah. I, I guess, so what do you mean by Beginning Burlo? So hmm, do you put hmm. the Burlo on the At side the where your inputs are or the side where your outputs are? So if it's on the other side of the input, that's beginning Burlo? I believe so. Okay. okay. Yeah. Burlo first or make shape first, mm -hmm. basically. Yeah, if it's like near the input, then it's probably Burlo first. Okay. If it's near, near the, the input, input is, has then an advantage the on... can't move through it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> be, it'll be interesting to near see. Near the input has... Oh, yeah. So yeah, next up is Topo Mouse. Top of mouse, nice. Uh, 378 cycles. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to say, near the input has the advantage of uh, easy disposal. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this one is doing peeling with these three arms, which are able to sort of share the work of pivoting and grabbing. Or I guess they're kind of just oh. doing it one by one. They'll One of them uh, grabs, pivots, and then moves, and then grabs the thing that got debonded, and then the next one does the same thing. Kind of a cool little uh, motif. Yeah, I like how arm three and four and five are cooperating. Mm -hmm. This looks like a height off. Yeah. And yeah, passing stuff across this disposal, um, so then you can use it later for the moors. Because <clears throat> yeah, if you have the burlo on this side, you can't really make a waste chain. So you either have to dispose or just leave them around in the solution. I really like the character of this piston track loops where the pistons do so many different actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> They're not like repeating the same thing over and over again like most track loops. Right. They look much more lively. All right, next up we have Petrocat. Can you believe it, guys? 300 cycles, just 26 cycles away. If you name a solution something too long, it just overflows the box. The more you know. Well, it shows up on stream, I think. My solution name is very long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you do a copy path to this link, Biggie? <laughs> no, no, I just actually copied one of the messages that said panic while we were discussing the philosophy of waste. <laughs> 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 But yeah, this solve is doing something very interesting with the burlo, uh, where it's Ooh. it's burloing and debonding on the same side, but in order to support both of those, I may the burlo have totally to... forgot that you could put burlo on a track. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I specifically made a puzzle where you had to put burlo on a track. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, this one is doing some interesting stuff to move this second output into the right place. Where it's like pivot, pivot, move. It's kind of cool. All right, next up from Foxy Hayes. I believe this oh, is a new, new uh, submitter. Sending. Yeah, welcome. Um, nice. Very nice uh, first submission. At three height That's and three height. Primary cycles. on your first submission. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a very very familiar uh, output outputting sequence. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the the method on height <laughs> as far as I'm aware. Mm hmm. Yeah, you can do it a lot faster. Than, but, uh... So yeah, I guess height you can kind of break it down into parts where there's like this output part, then the part where you break up the input, and the part where you uh, get rid of the mores. And this output part is pretty pretty good. Probably be seeing it a lot. RPO called out in Discord. This is the first tournament with over fifty participants for two straight weeks. Oh, nice. Yo. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Keep it coming. Yeah, thanks everyone for submitting. It could not happen without you. I'm very comforted that spiritual shinpu is called this method as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means that I wasn't far nice. off. Nice. <laughs> the very first <laughs> thing that I sent Panic was this output motif, but with a single atom input. Mm -hmm. All right, next up we have Steven. Trackless height, trackless height, trackless height, trackless height. Disqualified due to piston extension hack. <laughs> Missing an EQ glyph to the left of the input? He beat eight people. <laughs> and it is not even the distance. They are just pivoting and extending. <laughs> piston extension hack. Oh yeah. How could you? Piston egg, what's that? <laughs> Pistons are only allowed to pivot, but you've modded in the ability to use the W and F keys on your keyboard. <laughs> How could you? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this reminds me of it, it's Cuckoo52 who made the like retract only souls, right? Yeah. Kind of reminds me of that vibe. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah so if it has cool. extra pivots allowed. Yeah. Yeah, except the, the occasional oh, yeah. pivot. I think it was spiritual shampoo. Yeah, spiritual shampoo said they have a faster track this height. But is yeah, it but pivots this, and extends and retracts only? This is a specific <laughs> restricted one. <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah, I guess um, the height there is not relevant to the bed. <laughs> It's very, no, um, and I was not making that a two-way bet for this exact reason, in yeah. case he actually did make a three for me. I'm not, I'm not eating a hundred tissues. He's <laughs> making very tiny tissues. Anyways, <laughs> here's a one-cycle drop to Svenja. New solution five. Perhaps a more standard solve. That's a lot of track. Yeah. Yeah, the Burlo has to get out of the way for the second output there. Well, like that's a full column of track. Yeah, this one... Arm 6 seems to be setting the tempo here, and a lot of the other arms are just sort of going back to their initial positions while Arm 6 finishes up. The three salt V wiggle. Oh yeah. It lets two different arms pass to the left through it by a pivot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting the uh, atoms to go through these sort of track mazes is one of the interesting things you have to do with height solves. Yeah. All right, another one cycle drop. Keep those coming, please. <laughs> uh, Enjoying note is, this. <laughs> note is need to re-grab with five, otherwise four couldn't reset to get oh. the two-length molecule to three fast enough. That's a lot of numbers. I don't have to shame people for saying numbers anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> RPO with the spicy take that min is actually 245 cycles. Mm. We should see. Mm, no. <laughs> that's just one that's one cycle drops all the way down to first place. Uh, that's the reason for the number. Yeah, that's theory min. Theory min 245. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one has a pretty balanced instruction distribution, except the Burlo, which I guess is natural, so. I love, yeah, the arm five doing the pivots on the output but uh -huh. to where comparing it to like spinning a gun before holstering it. Oh, yeah. It's like the there's that one surrender flare solve on the Reddit that was like fastest, fastest flare in the, in the West. West. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this one's from Zinfor at 272 uh, cycles. It's got the a weird pattern. Burlo first. The Burlo is. <laughs> Why would you? Interesting. So that you can alternate it. 
yeah, I guess... Yeah, it lets you pass that one to the top, one to the bottom, one to the top, one to the bottom. Not very optimized, it's this doesn't check. very organized, and I would imagine that it comes out ahead of trying to get it off of a wheel that basically mirrors the burrow. Uh -huh. Losing that cycle at the beginning, or six cycles at the beginning, surprised me. Yeah. Yeah, I guess arm one is the one setting the tempo here, so... Yeah, it's interesting that it passes one atom off and then goes back. I guess... Yeah, I guess the other arms are going to be too busy to deal with that. And here we have a reasonably sized drop to 240C, to layer. I was happy enough with I TIs that I decided I could devote a little more time to height. I don't need my cycle secondary to be great, but at least this isn't embarrassingly half-assed. Yeah, this is not bad at all. This I like is lower this. lower than Min. <laughs> Whoa! I Hold see up. method again. Yeah, this sort of C shape uh, pivot while moving is very cool. And yeah, a lot of effort, I guess, put into bringing this moors across to the other side so it can be disposed. Yeah. Because, uh, as mentioned before, this burlo means you can't make a waste chain on this side, so. Now a five cycle drop to a <laughs> I love this name. Yeah. Got the burlo all the way over here. Oh. Yeah, I figured this would be a thing. Oh, the register. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it makes a... Yeah. I thought of having those two actually be outputs as well, and then dumping those in mm. for the last ones. That would probably be faster. And yeah, I also like how the Moors gets across to the other side here. Um, I think it's... Oh. I think this is uh, scripted out to the end, but yeah, it just moves all the way through in one motion without needing to be handed off. So it's a pretty efficient way to to dispose of it in that way. And it's already naturally being suppressed by this two-atom piece, which is carried away right afterwards, so it doesn't really lose a lot of time. Yeah, Berlo at the... Uh, so, so this register thing was why I liked Berlo at the start, because you didn't have to Berlo the whole thing, you just Berlo like one or two. Yeah, them, Berlo then... at once. Yeah. I yeah, did start and, the register. And, yeah. I feel like you could get a pretty good rate doing that, but maybe I'm still wrong, I don't know. Oh, nice, and it loops too. There might be latency issues. <clears throat> oh, it loops. Amazing. Yeah. All right, now we have another cycle. Xandorf. Cycle. Quite wide. <laughs> Singular. <laughs> this one's a fair bit wider than the previous ones. Probably mm -hmm. gets a yeah. little bit of improvement. Mm -hmm. Length six salt sticks. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> So this one... Oh, it's outputting two of the same thing at the same time? Yeah, it duplicates okay. one onto the other. Oh! oh so that's what? it manages that's to make up for the distance that the Burlo wheel is away by outputting in pairs. Um, so I guess the question becomes, why not output in sixes? Oh. Why not just put the Burlo <laughs> just closer? Well, or like make all six of one and then make all six of the other, but it probably... Right, have the, like a... Uh, yeah. Probably the input. Make it the oh yeah. Yeah, the input isn't uh, feeding it fast enough to make that profitable. Right. But I imagine somebody put could make that profitable. Perhaps. There's a very slick way of getting a six-length stick of salt off of the input. I have not seen it come up yet because probably the fast solutions are the ones to use it. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm curious. I, I haven't seen it. I tried to do that. I haven't managed to, but I tried Wait, where, to. What? Huh? Where's the salt? Hello? Where's the salt? It's definitely left and right of that equilibrium. <laughs> How? Oh. How do no, you make something in 225 cycles like this? <laughs> what's on the right? There's, it's just a... 
Equilibrium, I assume. Yeah. There's nothing on the ground. <laughs> it's just a. Oh, so it just spawns like in you in the middle of nowhere because yeah. of that. It's just. just... Where's the Cretelli? It's under the EQ glyph. Oh. <laughs> So bad about you just trolling you. Yeah, right. I believe that is the explanation here. I don't consider Matter Monkey to be a specifically trolly person. <laughs> that is a very quick and brutal joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably when I mentioned that uh, I could, I had the power to zoom to the Cretelli, it uh, yeah. <laughs> gave them an idea. Uh, oh, the note is originally I was handling disassembly and assembly on the same side of the output or the input, then I moved disassembly to the other side. Then sped it up by giving the disassembly arm some friends. Makes sense. So that explains the title, and it's not about like which side of the Cretelli war. <laughs> these these solutions look faster than mine's, but yet they aren't for some reason. Hmm. They have so many concepts that I think should be faster than me. Uh huh. Probably because they're not as fleshed out as the ones that are. Because I don't think I have a good solve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm uh, kissing goodbye to top 20 at this point. Be... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the rate is too slow. A lot of times it's like there I'll are parts of it that I'm... operate quickly, but the machine as a whole can't uh, keep up. And now we have... The whole point starts with a two. One cycle. <laughs> Uh, from Kazian. My, Keep those one cycle drops coming. My tutors advised against using mores unless strictly necessary. It would wear me down over time, even in the best case, so they claimed. I never believed them. But now, while sifting through foul waste and looking for finer tweezers to manipulate a machine the width of a drinking straw, I realized that they had a point. Alchemist Kazian, you still not a brick. <laughs> <laughs> That's very much not a break. Traveling with one atom at a time on each arm. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, this is a very uh, like clean way to break this down, where you peel it, and then bring the atoms along one at a time to get burloed in the right way, and then uh, slide them onto the right output. I had a solution that basically did this, but with a stick. Mm -hmm. I love the track oh, so. where you have to make space for the atom on the track loop. That's just such a hype thing. Right. Oh yeah, Whoopsh is making a good point in chat where a few cycles could be saved by swapping the outputs because the it's slightly longer Ooh, yeah. to bring it to the well, I was about to mention, yeah. yeah, I was about to mention that. There were like three cycles on the table, so if that costs him three placements, that would suck. Mm -hmm. Oh. And yeah, the cycles are pretty tight here. Next is uh, 222. By oh, wow, I actually wouldn't have actually <laughs> one place. Uh, note is, I intended to use both sides of the input to produce in parallel. However, I couldn't find a good setup to suppress the output and produce a salt chain fast enough to be worthwhile. Luckily, this setup saves cycles over my previous solution by decreasing latency, since I avoid having to take up space handling waste in the center, while maintaining around the same deconstruction speed. Unfortunately, it seems that recycling the waste is more cost-effective than creating a waste chain, so I actually complete the objective of the mission. This looks like controlled chaos. Yeah, it's a cool idea to pass these sticks like that. It's not even yeah. a stick of six, it's just like a, a big bonded chain. Because it lets you push things across a great distance without needing too many arms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, except the arms 6, 7, and 8 look kind of stuck. Right, yeah. 7 is just doing its thing, and 6 and 8 are like not really... 8 isn't even doing anything. <clears throat> yeah. Apparently. Oh, it does some last like minute pushing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely a cool idea to make this river of salt. Salt River is a good way. All right, now slightly bigger drop to Cadspin. Meh, two point oh. Brillo first. Yes, yeah, so this does the Brillo first and spins off the products. Makes a waste chain. 
it's good that it loops this quickly. I'm I'm looking at the piston that is responsible for grabbing the input, and it doesn't have any downtime oh, before yeah. I can grab it again. Mm -hmm. Arm two is has a lot of work for it. Uh Right. <clears throat> but yeah, it's kind of it's kind of like a almost like a, a wand technique where this two moves onto the bonder and the demonder at the same time. I actually really like it. It looks really cool. Is that yeah. the quick stick technique Biggie's been talking about? Yeah, you just do it all at once, though. Just pull off a <laughs> yeah. line of six salts exactly like that. <clears throat> I'll do it, uh, but you don't stop pivoting. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it looks like the perfect peel where you just whip and then you have six salts. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking oh. forward to it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. I, I don't have it. Right. My solution is probably coming up soon. Next, we have Guilty Bystander. Uh, first sub 200 sub cycles. 200. Yeah. Yeah, Jasper and I had the same idea. Yeah, just peel on one side, then make the sticks of three, and use the sort of method output. Although, with this duplicator here instead of in the middle, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, no, it actually it's faster to have the duplicator there. That saves a cycle you need to wait. I see. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's cool. And now we have a nine cycle drop. There it is. Yep. Damn it. I'm not... I think I have this basically the same placement for both solutions. <laughs> So yeah, this has some kind of conditional logic, it looks like. No, or... it just uh, pretends the Mors is there the I first see. time. Oh, oh, I see, I see. So the Mors comes along with the next uh, set of three yeah. after the first. I should have expected that for a height. Uh huh. But yeah, it's in the little um, motion it does here to like dodge out of the way of something. Wait, why, why does it do that? Which arm? Arm three? What, what's going on there? <laughs> oh, I see. Wait. Oh, no. No, it just has to retract. Oh, so it can do the swing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, it has to be linked to at the start because there's a salt there. And it's not given time to go in and fix that. Uh -huh. Or is it? It has gaps in between the time. It can do uh -huh. that in between two pivots. I guess it could. Yeah, as long as there's space for it to... Yeah, it could move forward and then do it. But I don't think it matters, right? Like, it wouldn't speed up anything else. Not that much. Yeah. A, loop, a loop length is not decided by that. Right. Alright, so now at 186... Two cycle drop is irrational guy. I probably could have saved two cycles somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing all the techniques that I do now from watching the stream, I probably could save two cycles. This one has the all duplicators on Burlo method. And quite a lot of stuff happening on this right side of the input. And yeah, it actually uses this uh, uh, X instruction. I guess because the input doesn't spawn until then, so if it tried to grab before, then it would just be grabbing nothing. But yeah, good stuff. We got a another two cycle drop to not great. This one is doing the... Is this the pull? No, it's not the pull. It's this, one, 
does a single debond on this side, or maybe two debonds? Yeah, two debonds on this side, and then it passes it over. So it gets this cool, um, like, layered debonding thing going on, where it can just pull through and get these two uh -huh. things on uh, the top and the bottom, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> and it seems like it's able to feed this output method um, pretty much as fast as it needs to be fed. Interesting how it just how it actually debonds everything. Yeah, that is interesting. I guess because of the way the Burlo is, you can't uh, get all three, so you have to debond it. I just realized the benefit of stacking all the sticks in one height in a six long stick means you get much easier disposal in the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was not the case with my soul. <laughs> disposal is a pain. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of cool. Like, there's this debonder here that it has to avoid with everything, <laughs> and then also this little track hump here. Oh, the right side is one cycle too slow. I see. And three cycles by Ebenov. Huh. Uh, he says, "I thought 24R is trivial to improve, but oh, in like the 40 minutes." I couldn't get the salt bar delivery in place. Let's see how this places. Also, I definitely want to see if height wizards make use of this 11R and can be 10R, I guess, pulling, peeling method. I want to see it. I want to see it. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. on screen. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Pull it back and then just take off. That's exactly the thing. <laughs> it's got a, such a long river of arms, though. Yeah. River, I would say that river, though. it's, in theory, I guess maybe 10R, 11R, but 12R is not going to be beaten. I'd be surprised if 12R is beaten. And yeah, this also does the trick where it duplicates off of oh, uh, yeah. one to make these pairs like that. Because the two of them come in quick succession. But yeah, very, Mine was very supposed cool. to be 12R, but geometry hard. <laughs> no, <it ended> up <laughs> not being 12R. Hard. Let's get a close up of this. I'm surprised how close I got to a 12R solve, though. Alright, now we got a 9 cycle drop for YX Web. This one has a three arm going on here. I guess with the dodging it has to do, it doesn't have time to reset unless it's a three arm. Interesting. Is this surprising. the first, first multi arm we've seen in the height I metric? I believe so. It's oh, a little yeah. rare to see them. Oh, and this one's just, it's not even disposing, it's just putting them there. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, in, in some ways, Disposal was a, a trap, I think, uh, for height, because it takes up a lot of space, and since you only have to make six outputs, there's usually somewhere you can throw these things, so... Uh-huh. I figured, but couldn't come up with something. Yeah. Alright, next we got a 3 cycle drop, 169. It's almost the pool. Yeah. I guess it's still pretty fast. Yeah, it's interesting to see what, like, a lot of these solutions do some debonding on one side and then pass it over for more debonding. The decision of exactly what to do on this side versus that side is kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. And a one cycle drop to Andrej K. Oh. <laughs> this does Burlo first, and it literally oh. makes a Burlo, a copy of a Burlo. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. And then shaves like off the this. top, does something in totally here. Only like a bit of wanding. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it pulls this without, like, with this bonder here. So the arm doesn't have to grab it at all. Yeah. No re grabs. Yeah, very slick Almost looking. Very smooth. Oh, they are both output on the same cycle. Nice. Oh, yeah. Tab through the peeling ones? Yeah, next time we get to the peeling, I'll tab through it. And yet another one cycle drop. This <laughs> I don't know how this happens. It's oh, like that's a last week field. last week with some the same kind of thing happened where they kept being one drops and not ties. Oh wait, this is a catalyst solve, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we got our stick yep. the register. And then okay, yeah, so it doesn't even need to burlow anything. Wow, I love how it splits at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, this is right, this is cool. <laughs> Does it output that though? It does. It does, yeah. <laughs> if it's that shape, it has to. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Okay, yeah, with Catalyst, I think you probably could operate at the peel speed. You wouldn't need to worry about the output speed as badly, so... I don't know, maybe, maybe Spiritual Shampoo is like double digit cycle count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you can put the Burlo on the other side, um, but not have to be constantly passing stuff over. So easy disposal as well. Right, yeah, you can make a waste chain. Uh, two cycles. Username Void. <laughs> um, can this one does the C shape? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh yeah, and here time. we got a register too. Uh, considered higher throughput with Moors going to the left, but didn't see much potential for cycle shaves. Simply a clean disassembly with a Burlo stick. Van Burlo's stick. <laughs> Van Burlo's stick, yeah. <laughs> what was the actual puzzle that's a polymer with Van Burlo? Van Burlo's chain. Chain, yeah. Mm. <laughs> the yeah, pivots as well, right? Yeah, except those are separate. Well, the input is a Berlo wheel, but then you have to yeah, separate yeah, yeah. them. Yeah. Right, now we got another that, uh, puzzle is pain. <laughs> one cycle drop uh, for RPO. Uh, this solution has horrible, <laughs> horrible latency due to the ping in sending the packet. Wonder if it's just better to waste <laughs> uh, store the mores that'd save a lot of hassle, as opposed to putting in the disposal. Disposal does take like, a lot of space. Mm -hmm. This is what you meant by the disposal being a trap, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this takes up a whole <laughs> chunk of space in the middle. It kind of forces you to do these awkward like stick passing maneuvers to get over it especially uh, since like reaching across the disposal is the biggest part that makes it slow right or you have to put the disposal on this side and then since, uh, pass things over it which reduces the max rate since with disposal you can't just have a track running over it mm -hmm. you have to have arms on two sides that that already forces one regrab right But yeah, an interesting Burlo on a track uh, to get out of the way for this output. Alright, now we got a massive three cycle drop. Wow. <laughs> to Nuachar. Seems okay to me. Okay is 21st place nowadays. <laughs> so this has a pretty nice. Uh, Unbonding sequence, I guess, without a lot of regrabs. Uh -huh. uh, I am genuinely shocked I cracked top 20. Yo. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> anyway. I guess pileups happened. <laughs> this is what, 25 R? This one's very simple. Yeah. I think yeah. this one just wins because it's yeah simple and relatively low latency. 
Yeah. Yeah, this one has a much worse rate than RPOs. I think RPOs is 21R, and this one is 31R. Yeah, or let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh. plus 1. 25. Yeah, 25, yeah. No, I counted 8 because I cannot remember what the next even number is after 4. Hmm. <laughs> it, it happens. <laughs> One, two, four, eight is just a much easier to remember sequence. That is true. Alright, another one cycle draw, uh, Winter Ray. Optimized <gasps> arm duty, tape length 28 to 22, saved exactly 20% cycle. This is... Interesting intermediates. Yeah, I don't think we've seen these shapes uh, in any other solve. Probably one of the starting songs. Yeah, very, very interesting intermediate shapes here. And it has to have this uh, duplication here because it's making a, just a burlo without with these two being salts. Two cycles down to Madmaster. <laughs> as tall as the number of eyes on a Tuatara, which I guess was the uh, their TRI solve name. So they have three three eyes. Wait, they have three eyes. Uh, no notes, head empty. Oh, I see a catalyst. Yeah, it's just keeping this around. Just a single catalyst though <laughs> yeah. for one of the. Because uh, I guess this one's close enough to the Burlo that it's not helpful. But uh, for that one, yeah. it's beneficial to make the catalyst. And yeah, it seems to be making a substantial waste chain here as well. Oh, oh yeah, I talked about that. How yeah, I'm looking just, forward like, to seeing this up here. What was that, Zorflight? Not use the whole input and increase listings. Oh, um, oh, I'm looking forward to seeing the return of this, like, four-atom waste chain per input idea. Because yeah. it looked really fast when it first came up. It yeah. does mean that you have to spend a lot of time to only get three usable atoms. This one is taking it every 11, but it is getting pseudo 22R out of it. Mm -hmm. Right. I think the utility of R's in the 20s is not going to last. I see. Yeah, because now you get because then you get the teal pull technique, which probably is going to go even faster. We shall see. Max error. Oh, no, oh so my god! Good. What is going on here? So you guys ready for some <laughs> jank? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is a throughput main. <laughs> okay, we definitely have some. Oh, I see the catalyst. Catalyst going on. Wait, here. no, it doesn't even last. <laughs> I see. So it's making them. Oh, uh, so it's this was. <laughs> this is supposed to be a twelve R, but I fucked up. <laughs> basically, oh. um, yeah. So. Like, I only spent one session on this, so I'm kind of kicking myself because I think this design had yeah. a lot more potential than yeah, 157 like cycles. Mm -hmm. Like, I just, like, there's a lot of, like, you see, I stupidly don't get rid of the moors halfway through, mm -hmm. and that ends up being a big problem. And I think it's the main reason <laughs> the throughput is so much worse than 12R. Uh -huh. I can't tell you what the number is, I didn't calculate it, but it's like, it's 18 or something, I think. Mm -hmm. um, with a terrible latency. Uh, there is a cool rotate uh, halfway through. Um, I think it's the two pistons in the middle do a cool rotate. Oh, like right there? Oh, yeah. 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 Pivot of the loop already. So we're looking at <laughs> All right, I'll, well, I'll put myself in as early contender for Pivot of the Week. <laughs> I would have liked an, I would have liked another session or two to iterate on this and clean up what I messed up. But TI? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, oh, I only spent a few days on TI. It was just 
poor time management act, really. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, and in the note also, Zorflax is predicting that the winning solve will be around 120 cycles. I predict it to be 160, this is already below that. <laughs> I like that this is making beginning Burlo feel like it is viable because you actually only duplicate one atom. Right, yeah, this is why I thought beginning Burlo uh, would actually be viable, because you can get a good rate from beginning Burlo, you just have to do a lot of surgery, which I'm, I'm not <laughs> the best at surgery. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still pleasantly surprised this is 18. I do feel like there was more cycles on the table, but it's my first ever height solve, so honestly, can't really complain. Yeah. I'm not too unhappy. get a lot more big drops coming soon, maybe, probably. Well, mm, I reckon they're still gonna trickle in four or five cycles at a time. Yeah. I could be wrong. Yeah, no. Four cycles. Oh, yeah, four or five cycles at a time <laughs> is still a lot for 18 places. Oh my god. <laughs> is this. It's below. It's uh, below. Oh, yeah. it's Zoom mod. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, so this is passing over the disposal with a stick. Interesting filtration technique where you can get the- Or Sienna Jones. Oh yeah, it pulls out <laughs> that Moore's from midstream. <laughs> <laughs> I love the disposal here. <laughs> yeah, this solve is like, it seems surprisingly simple for how well it's it's placed. Ooh, output drops at the same time. Nice. Uh, yeah, I guess it's it doesn't have to drop, it just waits. <laughs> yeah. Style points. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't even... <laughs> it can drop, it can drop early. <laughs> yeah. It just doesn't. 16R, but awful latency. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's a this looks like it would have instructions. This does look like it would have benefited a lot from that um, that cool debonding method. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. When you just want to make a stick and you have a free stick with one more, which is kind of a pain to add to this thing. But yeah, still, probably get that down to like fourteen R. Mm -hmm. But yeah, when I was making this puzzle, I definitely imagined solves that looked like this with a giant stick going across. So I'm happy to see that actually done. All right, so now we have uh, finally a secondary tie with a tertiary difference Yo. from Morikanda. Uh, let me zoom in. There it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, the uh, waste chain and the output. The advantage of this is very low latency. Yeah, so simple and reasonably nice looking low effort solve. I tried putting the waste chain back through the input, but it would have ended up being slower than the 12 cycles per three stick main pipeline. So I didn't bother exploring it further. A solve that does that effectively could probably break sub 100 cycles, or one that just uses the entire input every 15 or something. I didn't explore that because then it requires disposal and a lot more atom handling than this low effort solve. No idea where to place the ball part on height, uh, on height because I'm a complete height novice, but I'm guessing this solve places around two thirds from the top and winner is around 100 cycles, probably greater than 80% to be way off on at least one of those. I, I think this is better than two thirds. More like two thirds from the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> it's like one third from the top. Yeah, we're even top third. Yeah, 16th, yeah. 17th, that's top third. The cleanness of this really saves it over the people who are trying the high uh, throughput and therefore adding 50 cycles of latency. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just Absolutely, 24R. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just having to Which pull off very, very little latency. Three atoms at a time uh, makes it much simpler. I'm not too surprised Morikanda did reasonably well because she has good knack for cabinet puzzles too. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the height is pretty similar Winning to Winning the last cabinet puzzle cycles. Uh, now we have another single cycle drop. At least some waste is reclaimed. <laughs> we have another waste chain with a very useful disposal here. Is it? <laughs> is is the waste kind? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh they meant by they meant it as in the puzzle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, just kind of defeating the point I don't know, a little TI bit. Yeah, it was a lot worse with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> waste reclamation, but we don't reclaim any of it. 
It's just my ca uh, my own fan can is that the ship is moving because you're swinging giant sticks of uh, waste. <laughs> Moving your doing the doggy paddle against uh, empty space. Yeah. But yeah, this one has the um, method with the separate duplication here. And yeah, it's another one that just takes three from every input for low latency. Next up is Fiesta. At 146 cycles. Uh, just stickening. Uh, my favorite part of this is the Morse handling. It makes good use of the long latency permitted by the first of the two products and reduces the number of separate objects that need to travel Ooh. a long distance. 6P programming yeah. saved 6 cycles. So yeah, this does have a disposal here. And in this case, maybe the disposal isn't such a trap because ARM7 has plenty of time to throw it in there. Yeah. Oh yeah, another thing about disposal. The fucking hole is in the middle. Right. It's kind of hard to access. That was, yeah, giant pain. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could just use a waste chain, but you know, that's cost. That matters. <laughs> I you just didn't think about a waste chain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of... If you have your Brillo on one side already, it's kind of kind of uh, maybe not worth thinking about. All right, yeah. we got it. another um, one cycle drop, Cuckoo 52. Oh, this looks like a Cuckoo 52 song. <laughs> Zoom out a bit on this one. River of Arms. Yeah. Hey, here's some rate. Yeah, this is definitely on the rate side of the rate latency trade-off for cycles. I like how the Morse is in the exact middle, so when you take it off, it also splits it into three and three. Mm -hmm. and yeah, I'm this... surprised by how interesting the rate latency trade-off is here. I'd have thought rate oh, would be... Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd have thought like low rate would be a lot more powerful than high rate, uh, low latency, yeah. but like low latency is proving surprisingly powerful here. Mm -hmm. Every rate is worth about five latency, but that's not infinite. Right. Right. Also, I like how it just disposes of the mores in the middle and it eventually crashes. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like a waste chain is still possible. Oh, wait, does it intentionally the... do the air all the air first because of that? Leaves it more space. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. Last yeah. one has to be a water uh, <laughs> Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Needs to be a hydroponic solution input. Yeah. The essence of cold. Essence of cold. Oh, is that what they are? Essence of cold, essence of warm. Essence of heat. One points I think up, one it. points down. Well, it's I, if you look at like the traditional uh, elements, the commonality between air and fire is heat, and the commonality between ground and water is cold. So it's just based on that. Actual alchemy theory. Nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, needed name, so. <laughs> All right. Well, here's a tertiary. Uh, oh. Difference. Tertiary. <laughs> Have we had any secondary ties? Uh, this is a secondary tie. Uh, no, I meant like uh, secondary differences. That is. We had one, didn't we? Wait, sec wait, what do you mean? Primary like, tie. As in the only primary tie, yeah. Primary tie, secondary tie. Primary is late, miss. Everything yeah, yeah. is a primary tie. Yeah. We haven't. T all of these are primary what? ties oh, at three oh. height. <laughs> I forgot that. Right, you mean like a full I tie? I forgot that the primary was height. Uh, the only full tie we've had so far was in TI between the host solve and. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, no, it, it was it was Maraconda beating Spect on gold. That was a... I kind of just, yeah, I kind of just forgot that, you know, uh, J -Gark. was a mess. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, Jgark was the... Big uh, congrats to 42 Genius 42 on the 12th place. This is a good oh, yeah. show for him this week. Yeah, not too bad. This is a really good show. No. Alright, now we got a two-cycle drop. Conga line. I wonder what's going to happen in this solve. Thanks for pointing that out, Biggie. <laughs> 
we were too busy focusing on the fact that there was a cycle's time to remember who we were watching. <laughs> oh, we're watching Genius Way too. <laughs> this has really similar sorry, to um who was it? Uh the River of Arms. The you novel writer, I forgot their name. <laughs> There, I was I was making some remark earlier in the stream about a track loop that has to make space for both the arms and the atoms. Mm -hmm. Don't remember. Is it Cassian? Cassian, yeah. It was Cassian, yeah. Yeah, yeah Cassian. It was Cassian. Because mm -hmm. they were talking about like do not bricking through a through a paper straw. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I like yeah, how these pistons not... just go along the track, Sorry. totally extended. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, what was that? Still not low rate. Yeah? No. Yeah, it's still just like nice, simple, lowish latency idea. Mm hmm. It's like what? And we're approaching top 10. To... That's like tw 20 rate? And another one it cycle. It makes me happy to hear people in chat talking about asking for one cycle drops when I'm still several dozen away. <laughs> Ooh, the split. I'm just here for the show now. I've been it's way <laughs> long past mine. <laughs> this has the uh, Burlo first, but then does the, the peel method. Oh yeah, let's. Uh... It does look really clean. Oh, just the yeah. Burlo at the beginning slows it down. See, this is a like. No, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for like my idea a bit good, but they're all low latency ideas because that was easier. <laughs> <laughs> I expect Biggie's is my idea but good, but <laughs> not really. No. <laughs> Biggie obviously okay. had some cool, I assume. So yeah, I guess you have to set it up by breaking this bond here, and then you get these pieces of two. Yeah, you so you have get to this... set it up into twos. Mm -hmm. This piece of two bonds to this piece of two, and then this one gets set up and then bonds. And then. Oh yeah, we've, we're doing the requested one cycle at a time. Mm -hmm. It alternates between being controlled by the pivot and being controlled by the rotation. Mm -hmm. It's smooth as hell. I wish I would have thought that. <laughs> Yeah, there's a very specific set of D-bonds you have to start with so that like makes the biohazard bond shape. And then yeah, it doesn't have to be completely the biohazard bond shape. You can miss a few center bonds. True, because they all get debonded when it's working. Mm -hmm. Alright, now we have our playtest solve from Hexton and Now, <laughs> Y'all got some pretty strong playtesters. Yeah, shout out to Hexton for playtesting very hard on this tournament. Much appreciated. That's outputting <laughs> that. Wow, the way it gets rid of the moors. I did not think you could pass back through that. Really cool. Oh, I wanted to try to do that. Axton's a hero for the amount of playtesting he does to make sure these puzzles are good. Yeah. Yeah. Big big shout outs to him. He does a he basically does all of our playtesting when it comes to the weekly. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, two more cycles down to Rebix. Least convoluted H solve. <laughs> <laughs> so I was stuck at Almost one six for a while. That was when I thought I was at a local minimum. Mm -hmm. So this is a familiar looking number, but it's so different from the solve approach I took. It's not a full. It's not a full peel, but. Uh... Yeah, this one's very chaotic. Like it doesn't a, burrow the whole, pool. the whole wheel. It like. Make Devon some of the bonds, it like makes this pair, it duplicates here. Uh, but somehow it all comes together. And it outputs on the same cycle, which is nice. Oh, yeah. And it seems to do that naturally without delay. Yeah, we definitely saw less convoluted solves. Um, but yeah, no, this is number nine, so we're in top ten. RPO calling this opportunistic everything. <laughs> Just do whatever's available. Yeah. <laughs> opportunistic everything. Alright, now we got a six cycle drop. 
Spiritual shampoo. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh. I have to say some anti wows. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, there's a note. I, this is very similar to quintessential medium height. Thanks, Madmaster. And I expect multiple people to come up with similar solutions. Oh, quintessential medium. Mm. Should have looked at that. <laughs> 18R is what I believe to be the lowest rate with a reasonable latency at min height. My previous solution takes three salts from the input every 10 cycles and got a 135 cycle at 20 rate. This one takes four salts from the input every 12 cycles, which reduced the rate to 18 but increased the latency due to awkward input to output ratio. Still saved five cycles overall. Yeah, Spiritual... 18R was the thing I thought was my roadblock too, and then I got it out. In chat, Spiritual Shampoo says, in shambles. I'm, I'm sorry, Spiritual Shampoo. Shambles, no. <laughs> But yeah, this one is the first one I think shambles. to use four from every input. <laughs> very, Shambolic shampoo. Very Shambolic. interesting. They made they made that joke themselves in the help us not in chat. I'm just stealing it and saying it on stream now. Uh-huh. Bentabeg says he was at 132 cycles yesterday, so. Yeah, definitely. I was at 136 two days ago. <laughs> this is definitely a Ugh. low number, but people have been Coming up with some interesting stuff. Eighth isn't that though. Yeah, and the the solve is definitely unique so far in its number of uh, things it pulls from each input. And it has to yeah. fix it up. When, when they were mentioning spirit, or when they were mentioning quintessential medium, I went and looked at the high record, and I was like, "Oh, they didn't find what I found. Uh, it's just not the same at all." <laughs> So I'd be happy with eight, even if it was TI. Yeah, eight does nothing to scoff at it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So it's. Oh, that's a drop. Yeah, decent drop oh, to wow. Kevlar in seven cycles. Low one twenties now. Okay. Wow. Um, found a improvement to the duplication section at the last minute that got me two cycles. Didn't have enough time to oh, fully take advantage of it. Yeah. So this. There it is. <laughs> it makes a catalyst and then <laughs> does all of them. <laughs> Nice. So yeah, this is a very cool technique. Yeah, when we kept seeing this being done two at a time, but like, you have the stick, just you get six of them. Right, right. Yeah, and I guess I thought I was still limited by something that isn't really a limit. So I don't think I squeezed all the performance out of mine either. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just looking at all these like low rate solves or high rate solves and thinking how much I overcomplicated everything for myself. I should have tried something like this. Mm -hmm. Those in six. Aliresis. Aliresis, yeah, 120 cycles. Um, oh, this, this is where I thought would be the winner. <laughs> this has a very interesting way of making these three long pieces. It's kind of magical. Like this oh. second one just sort of appears out of nowhere. Yeah, the fact that an arm behind the input can finish the stick of three really slick. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, that not cracking is really cool. I don't think I'm on the podium, actually. This drop happened too quick. So they still come <laughs> better than me. Maybe we'll get some pileups again, perhaps, maybe. It'd be real nice, but there's not that much space. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a cool thing with this duplication here where it's used twice. Not sure we've seen that before. Maybe we have. Yeah, this is an interesting duplication sequence. But yeah, um, we do have a five cycle drop. Oh, if, that's a lot of drops. If disposal is the tailpipe of an automobile, waste chains are the empty sonic cup you threw out the window. <laughs> that was that was the title. <laughs> and yeah, here you can see the the. Oh, uh, there it is. Cool debonding. Uh, Inside a, waste chain. A rework of my earlier 3136 480 by the same name after I realized that the product delivery could be improved from 18R to 14R using a piston track loop. Oh. Now, this is 14R. That's surprisingly yeah. low. Yeah, I thought maybe 14R would be a limit, but I, I saw even just a, a change to adding another duplicator that goes onto Cretelli instead of onto the center of the Brillo wheel means I don't have to yeah. go down. Mm. Although I need that for the regrab yeah. for the track loop to work anyway. 
So I don't think I don't think this solve is close to a one ten or lower, but I think that something faster than this could have existed Wait. had I made a few more ideas. Mm -hmm. If you faster if you did air first, if you like swap the output positions. I mean the inputs and the salt that's coming through would run into the oh yeah. Well. So it's, it's okay, actually yeah, limited no matter which way you do it's the same cycle count. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would um. Oh, fuck, I forgot my question. Um, would it have been quick? Um, would you have... Did you 6P it? Oh, yeah. I mean, there's waste that I have to juggle inside the machine. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, for the last <laughs> one, you wouldn't have to re-grab, would you? You wouldn't have to re-grab, yeah. So, I think changing where the disposal is would save one second. Not the disposal. Yeah. The duplication is. Would save one second. Well, well, if you got beaten by one cycle, that'll suck. Pentapix says. I got beat by one cycle and the cost was greater than 715, both of which I doubt. Because 715 is really freaking expensive. Yeah, well, you did get yeah. beaten by one cycle, but. <laughs> 715. Yeah. Oh, well. So here we have a uh, Brillo first. Oh. But. Oh, hi, Pent. Only for the fire after the first input. All the other ones are handled oh, by a stick. This is what, I'm, this is what I was looking oh. for. <laughs> this is the Zorflax concept. So oh, score right. <laughs> Thank you, Pentapy. <laughs> Finally, I feel I feel validated. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I want to see the right side. Oh yeah, let me. Oh yeah, it does that uh, Moore's in the middle thing. I think Pentapig might rock it to the top of the standings with this week showing first and fourth. Yeah. Season. Although Nova, Nova's still there. Yeah. What about, wait, there's an appear. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> has, has which push? Nova has not appeared yet. Which push oh yeah, I see the name, okay, never mind. mind. Mr. Puzzle yeah. is also grinning in chat. Mr. Puzzle's another high finisher here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's also interesting how there's three salt at the end of the way stick because it's not really useful yet. Uh, yeah. Yeah, right. the limited use of the the burlo really improves the workflow of the, the puzzle. Uh huh. All right, so at number three we have Goodbye Galaxy, Flat Boy. Oh! <laughs> Flat Boy <laughs> Slim V two. Say that ten times. Great first. puzzle. Or great solution name. <laughs> Yeah, okay, this is totally in the face okay, of Pixel yeah, and Poo and me, who both said Brillo <laughs> first cannot theoretically beat our solution. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was scared to hear that, but... This I one doesn't even have the catalyst. Yeah, this one oh, is just clean. clean. It's... Oh, that's so clean. Yeah, you're yeah. right. That's so clean. <laughs> it makes it look easy. It's like, of course, yeah, you just use the burlo to make the elements, and then you slide it over and make your stick, and then break it into two. What's the problem? 112 cycles. <laughs> make sure you put the mores in the middle so it automatically detaches itself. Right. <laughs> this is 16R, but it has such low latency that it actually yeah. doesn't hurt to be 16R. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we still have two left. <laughs> Indeed. So at number two, we have Nova. Higher T. Nova. Damn. What's this? Still got denied that maiden win, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Nova's so consistently near the top that the the new player being so good at every metric is frightening. Mm -hmm. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> and they're doing the buddy duplication, which I love. Mm -hmm. Mr. Puzzle teasing secret sauce. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm really excited to uh, show Mr. Puzzle's song. Oh, yo, Mr. Puzzle's first place. Yeah. Congratulations on your second win. Yeah. I like how um the catalyst stick the, it uses its third duplication on the way back as mm. part of the movement back, which is really nice. Saves a lot of time. <laughs> Arm I 11 is having a good time. that it's out of the height. That's so <laughs> Pick up my criteria, look at it. <laughs> this is also remarkably simple, actually. 
Mm -hmm. It's a bit more complex than Goodbye Galaxies, but yeah. A bit yeah. more complex, but yeah. But yeah, it's able to move through here very easily because there's no arms. There's like a clean path through. Yeah, it's it commits to the one height stick immediately, which lets you put pistons on both sides, which speeds up the stick movement a lot. Yeah. Means I mean, more arms. Pistons on both sides and not both on the same side. It can commit yeah. to that while still getting the mores out on the other side, which is so much more powerful than the, the peeling that I was using. Right. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have to deal with the mores, you can't do anything. Yeah, very good job, Nova. Second place. And the use of Cortelli to mark the Arm 11 cheateries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. It's a great sense of humor in addition to a great sense. All right. All right. What's the secret sauce? Three times six equals six times three. A hundred exactly. Yeah, a hundred exactly. Holy shit. <laughs> so. This looks like it's really high rate. Gorilla oh. first. 11 rate. See if you can okay. figure out what this is doing. 11! Free building! <laughs> oh, oh, I love this! I love this! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, so cool! What does it do with that mod? It, it just puts it. It's it's just, it's 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 just, it's yeah, it just caps off the <laughs> outfits when it's done. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't need to do anything with the mods! <laughs> Yeah, you just take one element and you make a stick of six of those. That's so good. Big brain. <laughs> Mr. Puzzle's creative <laughs> ways of solving yeah. a puzzle. Oh, oh, yeah, I should Fire. read the note here. Uh, instead of having each Don't reagent you. make two outputs, this assembly process maps each reagent to a different output atom. Three reagents times six atoms equals six outputs times three atoms. This means each reagent only needs one essence from the burlo, so the burlo can sit on the sidelines. Careful debonding allows for quick peeling, and attaching mores to the end of the stick means taking care of waste is nearly free. It's possible to pass the mores sticks behind the output arms for proper, proper disposal, but that costs money. Not looping is cheaper. I feel like sub-100 cycles is possible, though. Oh, it's possible to not just do that. <laughs> it still has yeah, the item, or what do you do with the mores, but it manages to get an 11 R, which is so strong. That's... <laughs> <laughs> What do you? How do you deal with the moles at the end? That's the neat thing. You don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great, that's the best of me. Oh yeah, both categories were uh, won by a, a solution that had an equation in the name. You're right. Nice. <laughs> Equations be strong. Yeah, totally math. Well, at both uh, Mr. Puzzle and Fennepig are, are math. Uh, like that's what they do, right? Fennepig so, is a math. Yeah. math I guess yeah. that makes sense. Math gods. <laughs> Math knowers. <laughs> math enjoys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Even though like the math they write isn't exactly anything complex either. <laughs> yeah, this is the average uh, math enjoyer solution. <laughs> <laughs> Might say mathematicians. Yeah, that's that, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> that sounds like something a language enjoyer would say. <laughs> math mathematicians. <laughs> Math magicians, yes. Like, Art Benjamin was my math professor at Harvey Mudd, and he's like on his professional title as a math magician. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Amazing. All right, well, yeah, congrats on first place, Mr. Puzzle. Well deserved. All right, let us move on to the showcase. Showcase. God, this is an awful week for me. <laughs> So let's see. First up, we have The Triangle by Jamu. Yeah, I don't know. First ever submission. Flare vibes. <laughs> yeah, this is very. Uh, I feel like I've seen a surrender flare solution very similar to this. Uh, is Steven still in the chat or is he <laughs> going to bed? It's, this is lovely. Yeah. yeah. Good aesthetics. Yeah, though the Critelli is unplaced, but that's fine. These are some good aesthetics. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> oh, here's Steven. Correct solution, very biased. Steven. Should have mirrored it clearly. 
Yeah. What do you do? What do you do for the burlap wheel? Do you have to like make a burlap wheel and then transport it to the mirrored side? Why would you even ask? Of course, <laughs> that's what you do. <laughs> All right. Well, speak of the devil. Um, yeah, well, oh, God. <laughs> what is this? Here we go. Ah, uh, yes, the four cycle loop surrender flare ask solution. <laughs> What the hell is this? You gotta make sure you duplicate and then calcify after you duplicate. Alright, the this disposal arm is actually... Even solved. <laughs> the disposal arm is actually really cool. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. This is exceptionally Steven Core. <laughs> yes, all the... I can't um... believe Steven's optimizing for area now. <laughs> I love what I love what Steven's done for the pivoting here. Um, to pivot to get the debonding. So he's got arm five, which is like dedicated pivot, but he's also got arms ten and eleven, which pivot two every three, mm -hmm. which allows him to keep everything at period four, and nothing pivots on the one cycle that arm twelve needs oh. to actually grab it. Gotta be yeah, pay very Steven close is attention. Steven amazing at keeping everything at period four. This site, this solution is barely legal. Because of the way that it it pivots, like pivot, oh uh, yeah, like it's almost doing a pivot glitch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's teasing the pivot glitch. Yeah. Thank you, Steven. Uh, next up is Okoft from Mr. Puzzle. Oh. Let's see what we're gonna see here. Oh, there we go. Ah, I see. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, alternates. Nice. Yeah, it has to because you can't spend the cycle on a grab. Oh, yeah, yeah, to to close the loop of Okoft. Between the, like, rotation of the atoms at the bottom and the arms at the top is spazzing out. <laughs> this really just looks like a machine that's long lost its He's like office rocker. <laughs> yeah. And it kind of looks like humanoid too, like these are arms and the Brillo is its face or something. Very good. Now we have a OCA from Bambi. At ten cycles. That does the same thing, but it doesn't continue. Mm-hmm. And I guess it's using well, slightly I guess different it does catalysts. Continue, but it doesn't... Yeah, this is a one The other one's a true one. Uh-huh. And yeah, it's only using the Burlo for the Earth. Alright, here's a tracked instruction solve from Calioresis. Oh. Yeah, this puzzle doesn't seem difficult for tracked instructions. I swear I saw this exact pattern used in uh, Height. For debonding. <laughs> yep. Apparently it's useful for uh, instructions as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is an easy three instruction because you have disposal, everything is dropped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is kind of cool how the same uh, pattern that you use in height is also useful in instructions. It's an efficient pattern. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have a trackless height. Imagine using disposal, can't be me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very cool oh, so wand for the race chain. Height. Look at that, it's like moving it back and forth with the. Um... Oh, yeah, that wand action. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> that is a really good. I think that's a trackless height thing, though, because that's how it was done in stable substance as well. Mm. Yeah, fishing line. That's the name that it was being given. Fishing line. I have missed out a lot by not being with the week, being on the weeklies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're in the weekly chat and everything, best. <laughs> <laughs> was it active during that? <laughs> right. Here's one from Svenja, just called New Solution Three. It's a cool solve. Somebody it's... discovered a overlap. <laughs> oh wait, no, this is an overlap. No, just... this would just drop the center. 
It's yeah, it just um, drops out at the same time. It's yeah. There's no yeah, overlap this here. Like, this is very aesthetically cool. It just cool. looks like there's supposed to be a bond under the arms. Right, but there's not. It's just moving as one unit. Yeah. And That's the thing you can do. Does all of this symmetrically after it swings over here. But yeah, very uh, cool solve. Thank you for this. Now from Spiritual Shampoo we have a Overlap Area Solve. Yeah, seems about right. Yeah, I guess because of the shape you need this uh, extra tile here. Oh. Yeah, the input can't spawn unless Brillo's isn't on it, but Brillo and input are both active. The arm needs another place to be, so this is area in Here's an alternate alternative eleven I from username void. Oh, interesting. Oh, is this? Oh no, uh, not great. Also said that there was a. Uh, I refused to Biggie Brick solution that they submitted as a TI showcase, but someone else submitted. Oh yeah, yeah. I see now. Yeah, and then Zandorf also said so. Yeah, I'll, I can skip those. Yeah, this is cool because the uh, the six six instruction arm here. And then there's the conditional over the disposal. Cool stuff. There were so many more cool TI ideas for this puzzle than I actually got to consider on my own. Mm hmm yeah. Well done, community. Same. Yeah, it's super cool to see all the different ideas, both for TI and for height. Uh... Actually, honestly, yeah, both of the puzzles were won by a unique idea, despite having a lot of people coming up with similar ideas. It was unique when it got to the winner. Mm -hmm. That's always a great sign. You'll have to see like, the winners being unique ideas. Yeah, yeah. I'm super happy that, that it ended up being that way. Mm. Well, See if we can keep it up for uh, future puzzles. I don't know. What is this supposed to be? Uh, <laughs> this is peel maximum effort. Uh, <laughs> some sort of height meme. The pivot walking that it has to do to get the other piston <laughs> under the waist. Amazing. <laughs> is this using the TI efficiency metric for a height solve? Where you just get one atom out of every input. Yeah, it's like minimum one atom out of every input scenes. <laughs> and it manages to dispose of everything on that other side as well. Yeah. Yeah, because if it, if it tried to use the full like skip inputs, then it wouldn't be able to get it to the other side. So it's like just taking the minimum amount off that it can get to the other side. This is the actual worst job. Yeah, this is the worst waste reclamation solve. Eating 33, yeah. Uh, this is a wasteless TIAC. Interesting. How much is this? I uh, let's count here: six, four, eighteen. Eighteen. Uh. Seems like Bambi. Uh, they were the one to get the four out of six efficiency with a ten eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Bambi probably didn't get. But yeah, because eleven eye was possible wasteless, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That was the high solve. Yeah, though it was, it, it did require some collaboration. And also or some. One J Gark. Yeah, yeah, or one J Gark, <laughs> that's right, yeah. I do like the Moore's disposal. <laughs> yeah, where it has that one arm. It's yeah, oh, yeah it's the back traveling arm. Uh -huh. But it does take the same amount of area no matter where you put the disposal, so might as well let the atoms uh, savor their existence a little longer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what is this? <laughs> I, I guess it's huh? What, what, what's the name? Uh, remember, you're only supposed <laughs> to peel one remember? of the salts. It's a uh, showcase salts aren't validated at all. The whole oh. point was that Stephen wanted to submit a solve where the burlo 
kissed the moors. Uh, oh, he completely uh, crashes into the moors. Uh, okay, well, this one has a note. When life tells you to peel only one of the salts, don't solve the puzzle. Make life take that back. Get mad. I don't want your damn no peel solves. What the heck am I supposed to do with these? Demand to see life's manager. Make life rue the day I thought you could tell you not to peel. Do you know who I am? I'm the one who's going to burn your house down. With the solve. I'm going to get my engineers to invent a combustible solution that burns your house down. Was that good, Steven? Amazing. <laughs> did, I, did I do your notes uh, justice there? That was, that was good delivery. I was about to compliment it. Oh, thanks. Turn off collisions. Okay. Oh. That's a good idea. It's going to be a much more intimate kiss between the furlough and the boys. It may also crash the game. Oh! That's the good no. of intimacy. Did it crash? It no, didn't! It, it did not crash. Oh, so oh yeah, because there's no bonder. Yeah, there's, there's no bonder, so we're safe, I think. Yeah. yeah, let's just let this run. It'll be fun. <laughs> Eventually, we're going to have grab priority issues. It's just going to keep piling on that. Uh... I don't think it re grabs anything. Yeah, it'll just. Oh, look shadows. at the shadow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we got the shadows now. That is really thick. Nice All area. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll turn the area back on. And is that the last one? That is indeed the last solve. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for all the submissions. And I guess I can go over next week's puzzle too. Uh -huh. Hydrobonic solution. <clears throat> so this one, you have. These two this reagents. This looks like an interesting TI puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> you feel free to submit showcases. But yeah, this is one of the outputs from the waste reclamation, and this is just water. Um, and then you're supposed to make this solve. Pay attention to the fact that there is one bond missing. And the two metrics to optimize for are uh, actual normal metrics this time, cost and cycles, with secondaries normal of... Normal metrics? What's that? <laughs> secondaries Can of area. Can you explain to me what a cycle is, Panic? <laughs> Um, it's a little bit complicated, but basically you run your solve, and then when you finish the solve, the number here, that's the number of cycles. Oh, cool. Wow. <laughs> that's tab to sometimes crash your game and also sometimes increase the cycle count by one. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Cost area, thanks, I hate it. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, does that even make a difference for you? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think that's it for the stream. Um, see you all next week. And uh, mm -hmm. thanks for Bist, Biggie, and Zoflex for joining better. me on comms. Thank you. And yeah, thanks for having you. us. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. Yeah. See you. <laughs>